Hello, this is your mediocre time with Tom and Dan program. We hope that you will find our presentation precise, joke heavy, and just right. Thanks. to the Friday free show of a mediocre time. Hey, buddy. It is, I won't do it, it's TD Friday, and welcome to it. Pull your titties out on TD Friday. <laughs> what? Oh, Back which one are you on? Yeah, it's Butler. Sorry, Butler. Sorry, Adam. Oh. What? That's right. You can do that. You can pull your titties out on TD Friday. Sam's here. Butler's hey. here. Yep. Seth just walked oh, in. He smacked Whoa, his ass. Right in front of Tom's face. <laughs> We're going to talk to, uh, to yeah, our friend. I think friend. he farted. I heard a tiny oh. poop. No, he patted his butt. No, no, but I heard. Like, oh, he uh, patted a poop out. Air come out. Okay, hold on. Let's turn your mic on. Seth just walked in. What would you <laughs> say, buddy? I said it's probably an old fart that was trapped in there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. like protein that's shake that's fart. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yuck. Goat protein. Egg farts. Um, Seth is here. We're going to talk to Ross a little bit later for some news. Welcome to the show, everybody. Yes. We're glad to have you. We're live on Twitch. <laughs> Twitch.tv slash Tom and Dan Live. Monday through Friday, this is our home. And uh, you can chat and watch and stream. Watch our stream. Orlando's self-proclaimed Orlando's strongest stream. So real quick, we've got a sale going on. We're trying to get rid of some stuff before we get our, uh, you know, holiday collection and uh, holiday collection. <laughs> holiday, the Tom and Dan holiday collection. And so we're putting last year's hoodie, this uh, super soft pullover hoodie, um, twenty five bucks, and you get a super uh, soft TD. The first yes. uh, forty or so pair or orders get a pair of uh, white claw sunglasses. I like with how every... precise our uh, things are. You know, like our our deals hmm? are very precise. We're like, Something. Forty or such, <laughs> yeah. such and such. I, I forgot exactly. Yada the yada. We do a lot of such and such and yada yadas. Yeah, so uh, the first people order uh, our twenty five dollar pullover. Less. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the white claw hoodie or uh, sunglasses, koozie, and then we're gonna throw in some extra stuff. So anyway, that's it. I like it. That's uh, good. I like that hoodie. Out of all the hoodies we've done, that's one of the softest and best ones we've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to do these like thicker, like oversized, like really um, almost overkill hoodies. You remember those? Yeah, yeah. Like I have a bunch of those, but I don't wear them as often because of global warming and shit. <laughs> it's so hot. I'm being it is serious. Too hot, yeah. uh, you need it, a light in Florida. And, and look, no matter what you believe, I'm just I'm saying. It's hot as fuck. I'm outside. just saying that like every. it When we made those hoodies in, let's say, 2014, mm. 2015. They were great, and I wore them for like a couple years. It's a lot colder back then. But 14, 15, <laughs> 16, 17, or at least 16, 17, 18, it's a lot hotter, dude. I don't wear those. Also, a beer pong tournament at Hourglass Brewing, October 16th. The CBE group is putting that on. Um, also, if you do head by there and you're not playing. Pong out with your dong out, bro. Grab yeah. a, uh, <laughs> a pint. We got free Hourglass Tom and Dan pints. Uh, that you can get, you can take home with you. If you order a beer, just ask for one. Yeah, it's a nice uh, blue. If you're uh, like looking for what color the printing is, it's like a blue logo on there. It's really nice, and the Hourglass guys did a great job with it, and it's really an honor to collaborate with them. So Seth's here. Um, now, Seth. Mm. Uh, Where have I don't... you been? Well, you, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just so you know, just so you know the real, just so you know, we don't know where you've been, but right. we do right. know that right. Tom was worried about you. Well, as Why? worried as Tom can get. We had listeners driving Tom, around town. As worried as Tom <laughs> can get about people because he is an emotional robot, right. but he was very tight-lipped as to your whereabouts. Oh, really? I thought you'd be all about no. telling him where, what happened. I think he was well, waiting to bully you on the show. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Just yeah. waiting. I'm going to tell it. It's like uh, me when I get tiramisu from an Italian restaurant. I just put it in the fridge, and you just got to save it now, for later. This and you got to rip into it hard. It's a weird psychology here, uh, what I'm going to explain what happened okay. a couple weeks ago, because uh, I love Seth coming didn't in have blind. to tell me anything. I love coming in blind. So I told- Because I feel like you're my- f Despite how we act, I feel like you are somewhat my friend, and I thought that I would just open up to you of, of, of what's going on. Uh, okay, I don't know what else is that to do what this. it was? Yeah. 
Uh, well, hold on. Uh, I, I thought you had a bunch of bro friends. Or you can't tell them that because they believe No, you. he needs to go to his gay friends to talk <laughs> shit out. <laughs> and you're one of his okay, gay friends. So I'll my A squad, I don't deal with. My B, you're, yeah. my, wow, you're my B you're squad. The B yeah. squad uh, like A, <laughs> be muscles, muscles, A, emotions. That's just it. I don't B. really hang. I haven't really hung out with them. my best friend Josh Woods moved to Tampa. Uh, I thought so your best friend was uh, uh, Dochi. Daichi, Daichi, Daichi. Yeah, I don't have a best friend. We have, Daichi, we still have as much in common as I do with because he's with younger. Josh, yeah. Josh yeah. is an old man. <laughs> best friends of her babies. So, yeah, <laughs> so like 30, 30, I okay. just did a grown best man. friend photo shoot. <laughs> 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 well, yeah. girls, that's fun. Trust <laughs> me. Hey, if guys, you think for a second, tell yeah. thought best friend photo shoot was a good idea. <laughs> You're crazy. And I haven't been to my my gym gym in uh, quite some time. So is that I don't what you call it? That's a baby name for you. Is that a pet name for you? I jump to my gym gym. My gym because everyone thinks my gym is my dojo. I'm not my dojo ever since. Also, Jungle day. Gym for babies. Oh, <laughs> Jungle Gym. Wow, yeah. somebody didn't think that out. So, anyway, I think it was two weeks ago. I asked Seth, I texted him on like a Thursday, and I'm like, <laughs> hey, um, I'm like, are you coming in tomorrow? You know, because we got no, this, this every part other I thing. Know. This part I know. Yeah. yeah. And then Seth's like, Oh no! I, you know, since oh. you didn't text me at the beginning yeah. of the week, which is by the way a lie because Seth <laughs> never doing nothing. I my plans, bro. I, oh, get, shit. I, I, get, I had every I, single luckily, time. Luckily today, I have an forty-three minutes left to hang here, and then <laughs> I got three minutes. Will you buy another boat? Are you really? <laughs> I told ask him. It's part of the text. Okay. Hold oh on. my <laughs> god! What? what? So I mean, this guy, this guy's insane. <laughs> 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 Everyone in this room. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Thank that, you. That's yeah. I could dance. That's the first show. time Sam did. She didn't yeah. negate herself. She that's just, right. She just yeah. said everybody in this room is insane, and I'm afraid to have We're all in a little crazy in our own way. I think I have to agree with that. I'm going to go out on a limb. I'm going to say Butler's the most normal. I was about to say I, oh, normal. I was about to say the opposite. Except the okay. condom thing. I don't know. Well, that, I think he's just being a nerd. That's just a nerd, right? <laughs> that's what a, you'd expect a Star Wars guy to put no. a condom on, I feel like, right? Well, he also has his tall tails, which is all web of lies. No, they all check out. They're just... Like it's like he's so it's dumb he doesn't reality. understand what's happening. <laughs> <laughs> but it it all checks out. He's not a liar. He's, he's not a liar. <laughs> Oh, he's not not a liar. <laughs> <laughs> he's something in between. He's, he's a not understanding. He believes it. He's not a liar. He doesn't tell the truth. <laughs> like, uh, it's whatever like that the is. No, show. no, he doesn't understand what's happening. He just <laughs> relates what he doesn't understand okay, in a yeah. horrible way. Yeah, yeah, you're right. So anyway, I, I text Seth. He said, like, ah, oh, I can't come in. I thought you were going to text me earlier this week. I'm busy tomorrow. So automatically, I'm suspect of that because Seth's we never knew. busy. I've <laughs> never seen oh, Seth shit. busy. No, when you lived in Baldwin Park, you would come by here because you're like, oh, I'm bored. Yeah. <laughs> Every That's time before I had another adult, like, because I had people running my gym right now. Yeah, now but I like, don't what, have that What's anymore. happening at the, oh my God, we have an emergency. The paper <laughs> lanterns <laughs> fell down. Dude, like, dude, you know what? <laughs> like, I don't know what happened. Oh my God. All right. So, dude, the management, the lessons plans, the marketing for all platforms. All right. Like, it's just a lot we of We can't find the do. swords. So anyway, <laughs> fast, <laughs> fuck you. fast forward to I the, fast forward to the weekend. I think I still have the text exchange here. The, oh. uh, so the Man, week, you're going to the file, huh? The weekend comes and it's like uh, Saturday night or something. Thing. And then Seth's like, "Hey, uh, I wasn't really busy. Oh, I, was <laughs> I gotta, I gotta come clean, bro." <laughs> yeah, he's like, it "Ate him for twenty four hours." Know, I don't like lying. I like telling the truth. <laughs> and again, and, well, again I was, and I was saying this to open up to him because I, I really don't have much many people to open up to. I really don't. Uh, oh, that, oh I don't, don't, do not feel bad for Seth. I don't. <laughs> what do you mean? Uh, uh, like, uh, this, I'll text you anymore. So. Uh, <laughs> He says, I didn't really, I uh, was busy. I went to the doctor. I, uh, I'm, um, I may have a heart problem. <laughs> yeah, did, you do, did you do to Seth like you do us and just don't respond at all? Or? Oh, he ghosted him. Like no, when, no, when, no. Like, and there was, was another a... one that he can't talk about, but there was another thing that happened where this person sent him like a picture that like rattled him and he was like, <gasps> Shut his phone, put it in his pocket, and never went back to it, right? Do you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> we can't talk about it, but there's like this guy, if you rattle him enough, he will close out your text and never revisit you, <laughs> which is pretty cool. I so oh here goes hey dude so truth be told the reason I couldn't truth come in be told. was because I think I have pussy cancer bro <laughs> I cannot tell a lie serious I, I had a cardiologist appointment um uh starting next uh let's say starting next month I'll be wearing a heart monitor for two weeks straight <laughs> checking for uh arterial atrial uh, or, <laughs> atrial uh, fibrillation. fibrillation yeah yeah. 
There it is. <laughs> Good job, Tom. Artie <laughs> 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 Artie Grendel. Artie Fibulation. Artie Grendel's Tropic Traveler Van. Why did I try to read that? I don't know. I could have just. Why did you try to read that? Atrium. 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 He has a bird atrium in Taking his chest. my own grave. Or Garfunkel. Stupid. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Ollie Ollie Auction 3. So, what's. What I find <laughs> odd about this is, what do you think my response is going to be? Because you're opening up because you're nervous. Hey, I understand you, like, you went to the cardiologist. I'm going to come clean. You believe you have <laughs> atrial fibrillation or well, whatever. Why would you try it again? <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> but, well, because he can't, s- it's competition now, Sam. He can't uh, stand the fact that he can't say it. Uh, prepare but, yourself for a third time where he gets it right and screams, yes. Yeah, yeah. It's like asking me for gas money a- when. When we, when we, I know a history of behavior. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? Like, I th- you know what? Well, I'm like, this, yeah, like, <laughs> how do you not one, know? One. I'm suspicious <laughs> of you, you actually did. Anyway, so when you told me this, I like, I my response was like, you're fine. Uh, like just mm-hmm. like the last time and the ten other times before that. There's nothing wrong with it. And then I was, then I got nervous. So I was like, well, what if he's not fine? And I'm like, because I started giving you shit a little bit on the text. I was like, I'll bet, uh, you know, a ten thousand yeah. dollars that there's nothing wrong with your heart. Then Seth's like, well, my doctor said that I could be too healthy. And I'm like, that's not a thing. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> healthy. I'm so healthy. I've unhealthy myself. <laughs> and what is the thing? No, what you said was you probably are sick, and then I'm gonna start taking testosterone to get better looking than you. The, the, oh yeah, oh, yeah. This, went the opposite this direction. This man's so. pouring his heart out to you. You are bullying him. Well, I, well, he said that you were too healthy. Then I'm like, and then he makes fun of me for. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, well, go, you go. said I'm gonna may have to stop working out as hard as I. And I'm like, yeah, yes, yeah. you're gonna get a fat, oh, sloppy, yeah, chungus. Yes, I want chungus. <laughs> I'll double down. Da- I'll take double dose testosterone, and yeah. then I'll get ripped. yeah, more yeah. ripped than Seth. That would be my dream. Yes. Just to bully Seth because it. it would it would crush him inside. Oh, drive, drive him crazy. Um, um, and then I told him about like it could be sleep apnea that I was because I was waking up with certain things. Yeah, but you could. This is all stuff you can handle, man. It's not yeah. end of the world type. Well, then he throws Tracy into it, and he's like, "Oh, I'm sure Tracy will love sleep next to a giant CPAP machine." Oh, I like <laughs> that he bullied you. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's how to do it. Well, then, you got a cool doctor. Is but, he like an old real man or but, something? But like, he, but I know how to talk to Seth because Seth. Young we're, girls don't like CPAP. <laughs> this is how other bros <laughs> show their love to each other. They bully each other. Yeah. Like well, I, it's not working <laughs> with him because he's not a traditional bro. He's too sensitive. Yeah, but know? he's got enough bro to understand. He that, understands it. That the bullying. I, I, I think you went a little too far. <laughs> Well, I mean, does Tracy want to sleep next to a guy that has nobody to does breathe nobody does. with a CPAP uh, machine? Does. I mean, no. that's not cool no. or young. <laughs> I mean, I guess. <laughs> like, I, I mean, I guess it's nothing. You, it's really you could make a Howard Stern argument that she could sit on the unit. I guess. While it's running, uh, she didn't yeah. want to do that. <laughs> yeah. she, she'd rather sleep next to a guy not mm-hmm. suffering from like snoring uh, yes. until he dies. You can't kiss. <laughs> you can't. Like, that's what it is. Like you normally, yeah, that's an that, old that machine. Fat does it drive you crazy to know that you might have to wear a machine that horribly red spam laden pigmen have to wear? <laughs> <laughs> it's a, it's traditionally worn by pigmen, right? Uh, I don't even wear that. No, it's for pigmen. And, and, I'm, when I went, and I'm pig curious. And when I went to the actual doctor for it, she looked at me like I was kind of crazy. She's like, yeah. You're not the. She's like, you're not the general person that would need this. She's like, I don't think that's mm. what this is. You're yeah. a hypochondriac, so aren't her, you? I think it's your stomach. Uh, she said, she thought it was my my GI issues, my stomach issues that I always have. Yeah, that's all connected called? to your anxiety. I know that. And then I went to the GI doctor two days ago. And he looked at me like I had three heads. Okay. He, he's like, what are you trying to accomplish? What are you trying to accomplish? How would you feel? <laughs> I know. Because I know, I know, this is my second I opinion. Mean, I mean, doctors you know, are like, you're wasting our fucking time. Yeah. If I was you're a doctor, I'd be like, I'm now. charging you for this. So oh, yeah. You're, yeah like waste, I mean, you, uh, this is not wasting no, my time. You're paying point, me. No, but at some point, you're just like, I'd rather you do again? some good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, like, I, I mean, like, I, I would get to I a know. point as the gastro. I would get to a point where I'd be like, look, man. I've seen you like nine times because look, I've done it to my gastro and I'm sure there's been a point where he's like, look, I have to save this old lady's stomach, okay? <laughs> yeah. Can you get the fuck out of here? You're but you're paying him. <laughs> no, I, I know I am, but like all he's going to do is tell me I'm okay. Then he's going to scope me and then he's going to tell me I'm okay. And he knows that. And a lot of these doctors, especially the specialists, it's it's like months out in advance to get yeah. appointments. Oh, and uh, Seth's uh, clogging up the goddamn system. Yeah. He's healthy as fuck. Yeah, clogging yeah. up the system, man. I know. And I got like your heart. That's why it's next week for my heart because it's a month booked out and it's a month booked out. You need out hypnotherapy for IBS. Well, That's what I'm doing right now. Well, I'm in it right now. Save a life. Well, the guy, the new guy said, 
he's like, he knew my old doctor. And I was like, look, I just want to come to you a second opinion because it's still bothering me. He's like, then he got on me. He's like, what are you trying to accomplish here? He's like, <laughs> he's like, he's looking at all the forms. I brought in a f my fucking files yeah. that I had for the past year. He's like, G he goes, Jesus Christ. And he's, he's like looking through this stuff. He's Jesus like, Christ. Like, he was he's a vampire. Looks like a <laughs> yeah, he's, he's blah, blah. I don't know what it was. Why it's did you fun. bring me Cheesecake Factory menu? <laughs> 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 Pretty much. It's so big. So, so then he then he started talking about you know the mental thing and stuff. He's like, I'm gonna put you on this medication. He's like, it's gonna block He's some a, of the receptors. How you say crazy pill? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I thought it was a stomach pill. I thought it was a stomach pill. And he's like, I'm like, he's like, okay, it's gonna block some receptors. He's like, you're gonna don't Google it. He's like, don't read about it. Don't worry don't what read. people <laughs> say. Like, and immediately as he said that, it's to treat uh, yeah, yeah. the pussy. <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, I don't know how you say the vagina. <laughs> do not, uh, do not what. And it was a crazy pill. <laughs> it was a fucking crazy pill. It wasn't a crazy well, that's pill. What you need. That is what you need. No, dude, but I don't want to be on it. It's a Benz. Well, it's a, it's, I don't want to like be on them either. It's not Valium, but it's in the same family as Valium. I don't want to be on them either, but I'm on them and they are working like a fucking charm bracelet. But then I read and it's like, oh, you shouldn't be on it for more than a month or two months or something. He's like, come back, see me in four months. I'm like, you want fucking four months with this? Oh stuff? my god, you got three wow. extra months. You might die. Uh, uh, you I already think you're dying. I don't want to be addicted to that. <laughs> shit. I can't like, I wait till you're on a CPAP and your dick doesn't work because of crazy pills. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy's gonna love that. Oh, I got pills. I got pills for that. Too. <laughs> 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 in their story, you got a CPAP ribs. on. You got a old, big because it's big, <laughs> but it's like it's like carrot top. It's like just a big dick for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> it's flopped for Nothing, nothing. It's heavy. It's like a pork tenderloin. <laughs> <laughs> like a Hormel. A just, big Hormel. Just smash it flat yeah. when you try to... Whatever. You try to put it in there, and then it does that move where it bends in the center, and it cranks. <laughs> and you're like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> what get, happened? I got a dick crank. Because the Viagra, the Viagra got a half going, but yeah. the, the crazy pills... Uh, yeah. The, Vi get, take it the down Viagra and, yeah, can't yeah. get past all the fucking Maalox and Pepto and all this <laughs> yeah. other shit. And all your supplements. It can't, it can't, it can't get through there, can't so you absorb. only get a half of an erection. So the bottom bottom half is rock hard but the top is floppy like a <laughs> waggle man See, but okay. then i'll get in my new 22 2022 boat and be fine okay so oh, let's dude, talk about that this dude's boated five times already upgraded <laughs> you're not good at boating so this guy's good at boating I, is he good at boating he is or good at uh well, ruining he's, himself he's financially it. no he, he is it's selling just a the dream. smart thing because i can get five thousand more than what i paid for my boat two months ago now you're investing. 5,000 more. Yeah, now you're uh, boat flipping. So it's crazy. <laughs> you're flipping your boat. Oh I'm God. flipping my boat. Uh, but the only problem is I have to, I might have to I have to wait until the new ones come in and they're back and they're backed up forever. So it's like it could be he said it could be 3 months, it could be 6 months, it could be a year. Now why do you like want the latest and greatest? Uh, just the just uh, you don't no the honest answer is cuz I just want the latest and greatest. Just want that's okay. Nice new brand new speaking yeah, new. That's fine. And it's bigger, it's a foot bigger. Well, do you want to talk bigger? My god, this guy is out boating you left and right. I've never seen a novel. <laughs> I mean, this this is un, unprecedented. Yeah, uh, this uh, guy's the Jake Paul of the of the <laughs> boating world. You want to uh, take that? He's making a mockery of your boating. I, I I mean, having a brand new boat is nicer, <laughs> but, you know. Um, but this guy goes out all the time. All of his photos are thongers and tubes. I'm, I'm taking my niece out flags. tomorrow. Tomorrow, and uh, I, I did come here for another reason: is to borrow your truck for the night. Because Tracy should have been done this week, and it wasn't. Done. I'm using my truck to pull oh, a camper uh, over oh, yeah, to Fort Wilderness. Wilderness. I would lend it to you, but I, I have to pull the camper. Yeah, well, you only have to pull it to Fort Wilderness, then switch out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, can pose. he won't get his truck back in time. To <laughs> yeah, pull yeah, I'll be sitting there. <laughs> sure, he will. And the guy's like, Where's my shit? <laughs> and I'm like, I'm sorry. This guy, the Kimbo's like, You remember? Kimbo? <laughs> I start telling him, He's like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> um, so, Seth, you want to uh, speak about some other things? Because oh my uh, god, wait, we what? get serious for well, a second? Well, no, the, uh, oh, the, no, the I uh, you know I bully Seth a little bit, but then I pull back because I'm like, what if he is really sensitive? Because Daniel says you're I do get so, worried you're about so you. sensitive. I get worried about you, man. I mean, I wake up nightly with night terrors. Yeah, yeah I yeah. think you need well, to be on some sort of medication. I know you don't like that route, but and, and I, I do think it would help you. So I then do. you you told me about the new boat, and I was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then you're He's like, living his life, man. You're like, I'm spending my money so that while I have it, because I don't. I don't think I'm gonna be here to when, when I'm old, 
And I'm like, well, that seems uh, you got to talk to do. You <laughs> like, got a therapist because you got a therapist because no, statistically, no. We'll start we there. talked about this. He hasn't gone to therapy because statistically, only doctor he hasn't been to. You right, yeah. exactly. I know, right? I know, right? <laughs> you and it would help the best. You're the healthiest. <laughs> yeah. I mean, not mentally, but no. uh, physically, you're the healthiest person I know. Yeah. You're the healthiest diet, and you work out the most I've ever seen. Right? So you should live the longest. Mm -hmm. So spending all your money while you're young, but the anxiety is going to kill him. That's nah, what it's fine. I mean, I think even with horrible anxiety, if you're in really good shape, it'll wear down your heart, buddy. Nah, yeah, nah, <laughs> I mean, what will wear down your heart is cheeseburgers. <laughs> like, like that's what gets you. Uh, yeah, you know, the anxiety is not good for you and the stress, but it's like the smoking and the cheeseburgers. Yeah. eventually will kill you faster than anxiety. Yeah, anxiety like, and stress. I mean, if, if it's, you're eating, at some point, you can only take so much. If you're eating bird seed and working out three times a day, you're gonna be fine. Your heart is gonna be fine. Yeah, like, long-lasting physical damage. Damage though of the like he's saying of like uh, of physical damage you're doing by ingesting horrible stuff. You're not doing any of that. Yeah, yeah. You so, don't have to worry about any of that. So let's. I mean, you should not spend all your money while you're young. Um, mm. You know. Also, there's a thing where old rich guys get young girls because of their money. So if you take the money aspect <laughs> of out of being old, <laughs> then uh, no more young girls. Yeah, That's well, all I'm just like, you know. Well, I got You're not going to blow all his money, <laughs> just some of it. Oh, right? yeah, just... Are you blowing it all? <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't. Well, I mean, I did the math of the Kimbo fight. It's online of how much mm -hmm. Seth made, and and then you're like, oh, the gyms. He owns some property. Yeah. He's made some investments. Yeah, I made more money in, in real estate than I did with Kimbo fight. Well, yeah, sure. and then there was that one I bar and grill you tried rich to open guys. up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wait, I remember when you bar opened up grill. Blammers and it failed. <laughs> Blammers. I, I, yeah, think, I, think, I don't yeah. know how that did. Yeah, <laughs> horribly. I think you're yeah. MMA rich, uh, which is like you had some success, you made some smart business moves, but it's not like you're Mark Cuban. No, no. Right, no, right, right. You're going to be uh, no, passing not. stuff down to your uh, descendants. You know, it's like, yeah. well, you know, yeah. I mean, how long could it last? You start buying $80,000 boats. I mean, what's your new boat cost? Uh, eighty one. Oh, <laughs> wow! <laughs> eighty one thousand. He likes his boats. What? He yeah, likes his yeah, boats yeah. and the birth gear of his girlfriend. <laughs> eighty one. That's too old. Too old. Way too old. I'm born eighty two. Yeah. It's fucking forty years old. That's, yeah. right. <laughs> I was trying That's to disgusting. Out. And as I'm saying it, I'm like, bad, bad, bad. <laughs> <laughs> so that's at, why I'm not a math guy. Not a, a decade or so. Yeah, yeah. So I guess but it's fine though because I paid. Well, I paid cash for my other boat, and I'm getting a good chunk for that. Mm. So it'll take off a little more than half of it. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, I know that uh, the fifty thousand dollars you spent for your first boat will yeah. go into your second boat. Yeah. But it's still you're buying an eighty-one thousand uh, dollar boat with your money that you the, that you probably could save. Most people don't have eighty-one thousand dollar vehicles that, that they use daily. The fact for a hundred dollars for the news <laughs> is absurd. When you have eighty-one grand to blow on a boat, that, well, I save it. I saved that hundred dollars. <laughs> For what? Yeah, 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 but that's a weird thing. I, don't, I, 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 donate, that's like, I donate the thing. It's like <laughs> what Jay Leno did with his NBC check, right? Like you tuck him away. Well, I've been, only used yeah, my yeah. car endorsement. Right? I don't mind paying yeah, right? Seth the hundred dollars. It makes but it's I a do. principle. It makes me feel better. Yeah, about, yeah, yeah. About it's, about a, it. it's a weird principle thing. So I just pay it. I'm like, all right, if you want those like measly hundred dollars, sexual kink or something. It's something weird. And God forbid you don't get paid, then you guys have this awkward text exchange throughout the nights. You know, on Fridays, it'll be like, where's my money? You're like, oh, yeah, I'm yeah. like, oh, my God, just kiss already. <laughs> Jesus. So, uh, I'm good. I'm good. I won't, I won't, I won't spend all my money. Uh, that was, I was a truck. Halfway yeah, I it. have a truck. Well, it's getting built. I'm spending money on that, too. But a lot of people are <laughs> saying. It's going to cost another because I'm putting a bigger engine yeah, in it. Yeah, but a lot of people. So it's costing me more money. Well, like, why don't you buy a modern truck? Yeah. Well, a lot of people were saying that this particular truck you're getting, and I don't want to worry you, but our chat room was saying that the wheelbase of the truck is too small for even the boat that you had because it's quite quite heavy, and adding another foot to your boat, I'm gonna oh, yeah. guess is gonna oh, make it a little saying, who's saying a little more heavy because yeah, you want to oh, yeah. you want to pull it with it's, a longer vehicle, not a short base. It's a long. It's it's, it's not a scout, the small right? scout. Yeah, but it's just it's a the type of scout that is long. It's long. It's bigger than a. It's longer than it's about as long as your it's truck. Big as a geo tracker. Yeah. Well, no way. You're not, it's no as way. long as your truck. That's it. That's it's okay. it's big. All right. All it's it's a four. It's four four seats. Sit, four seater. Seth, what's the long term plan? Uh, have you thought about that? Like, uh, uh, what's your twenty year? Um, are you going to uh, eventually settle down, have kids? Yeah, of course I. Um, I yeah, I want that. It's just scary now because I feel like I'm old, but then I just keep waiting and waiting, so it's get pushed back, pushed back. Mm. But it's not like I'm not trying. 
There were four, <laughs> <laughs> four kids? My God, that is like well, the like, saddest thing I've ever heard. Well, no, I'm not really trying. I'm not trying, but I, I'm not not trying. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, I know what that means. Uh, now it's just, I'm something... pulling out. But let's just put it that way. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Does she know? <laughs> yeah, no, she knows. <laughs> All right. So is that something that she wants to do? Is, right. uh, oh, you know, have, bring uh, some kids along? Not right now, I guess, but she yeah. wants, she didn't before, but. Oh, uh, God, you gaslit her into wanting kids? I didn't gas. I didn't say anything. I never forced her to do anything. And, and then uh, what I is just that? Kinda, I kind of guilt her, but that's it. <laughs> yeah, all right, that's healthy. So, what do you think gaslighting is? <laughs> five uh, years or so, we're going to see uh, oh, yeah. a little pepperoni yeah. right yeah. around. Yeah. Uh, Kicking and punching. And, and I like how my, I do like, despite thinking I'm all crazy and depressed and stuff like that, I do like how my life is now. I like the freedom of just doing my, my dojo, and when I don't do that, I'm free to do whatever the heck that's I awesome. want. And yeah, it's good. Oh, it's, it's, good. Yeah. it's just we, we we do worry about you I, because you say you like your life, <laughs> but you still you go to the doctor a lot. I know. What are you gonna do if you have a kid? You're gonna freak out and take him to the fucking hospital for everything. No, not him. I, no, no, I'd be worried you, about. I like that you know about the himself. gender already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I'd be worried. That, that's well, how yeah. hypochondria works. What I will be wor- what I do worry about, and I think about this, is the fact that I won't be able to to. Take it. like if I'm busy doing something with them and I have a freak out, I won't be able to just go somewhere. Like I can't go to the hospital. You gotta stay at the park by yourself, bro. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> oh exactly. then, then I'd be yeah, dragging. Be I can see that. Because yeah. I'd be dragging, you know, the child around with this me all those places. So Look, we're on Facetime. Just tell me, uh, you know, if you're upset or something, I'll come back. Oh yeah, and you know, it's I'm going to Central Care. Super <laughs> easy taking that eighty-one thousand dollar boat out with an infant. <laughs> you yeah. know. Uh, oh my God, he looks so sunburned. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's dead. Oh, oh no, bro! <laughs> Definitely in five years though. Like I've always wanted to have a place up north. Like I want to get like a little, like a little cabin or something like that. In north oh, Carolina. gonna buy a cabin! <laughs> oh my god! Oh, so there's there's a cabin. Trash dream. Can't that, yeah. it, there can't be that much. It's <laughs> got <laughs> some. Do you have a financial advisor? Ooh. Yeah, apparently a good one. Is it? Yeah. Is it's Remy. It your roommate? Is it the? Oh, Go-chi? I'm gonna. I'm gonna Go-chi. It's gonna be a, a rent. It's gonna be income too when I'm not there. So I'm gonna yeah. be renting it out part time. Yeah. <laughs> like when I'm not there, and right. come check out my cabin, bro. <laughs> <laughs> my in, my infant son totally didn't die in it. Oh my god! <laughs> Should I write that in the listing? Let's just do let's do some voicemail. Okay. Uh, oh, voicemail man. email. I'm, I'm so oh, glad. I'm oh, so glad oh, I stopped oh, by. Oh, <laughs> I just what was that? Oh, hold on. Okay, no. I just came to bully Russ. <laughs> <laughs> I well, I gotta bully you a little bit before you bully other people. That's how it goes. Hey guys. Thanks for calling 1-800-HOT-DICK, the place to find real action with real men. To make it even better, we've got new low prices. So low, we're practically giving it away free. If you are a man seeking a woman, press 1. If you are a woman seeking a man, press 2. If you are a man seeking a man, press 3. Male on male. Mail on Mail brought to you by True Leave. If you go to True Leave, I went there the other day. They got a new Aloma uh, location in Winter Park. That's my I love new one. that one, man. I got hit it on the way home. But uh, I got those uh, Sativa and Indica gummies, and they're great. 10 milligrams, perfect. Um, you could take two if you want to... Uh, Blow your shoes off a little bit. Yeah, That's you what can I do. do. That. Two, take three. Uh, but you can take one, and that is mellow, easy. And if you buy any product at True Leave, just uh, there's a form on Tomadan.com. You fill it out. Just uh, take a picture of your receipt or the stuff you bought, and we'll send you a free True Leave gift. Um, Eric's got the brand new Tom and Dan weed pens. Yeah, I got one right here. Yeah, yeah. They're Let's like put uh, this on the Twitch camera. There you go. Yeah, that's gonna come in every new uh, True Leaf order. Also the bucket hats, uh, Tom and Dan green stickers, some other stuff. Um, but that's completely free, mailed to you, and all you have to do is uh, pop by True Leave anytime you want some uh, medical marijuana. I can't open this tiny Ziploc bag because <laughs> apparently I'm like uh, really stupid. But there's the pen. Mm. Oh, and for dosing, one is fun. Two blows your shoes. Okay. Three, yes, please. Four, believe it or not, blows your shoes back on. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's weird how that works. All right. Um, Want to do? Oh, well, before we start, Seth, uh, <laughs> any uh, boat adventures uh, as of late? Uh, no, but tomorrow they, uh, I'm taking my niece out for her birthday and her friends. Uh, go, yeah. Okay, so where? Niece and how, friends. How old is your niece again? She's 22. Okay. And um, so. You're, you're just the captain, right? Mm-hmm. Like you're not gonna. Yes, you, yeah. Is Tracy Captain's, going? N- I wanted her to, but she's got to work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <so. laughs> 
<laughs> yo, yo, yo. Okay. <laughs> sounds you're, creepy. I see your face. Your niece is 22 your face. and her friends are 22. It sounds creepy. It does. Yeah. You're like, I'm taking my niece and her friends out on my boat. You're a creepy <laughs> uncle. Because I'm Captain Stabbing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, because for sure, uh, your niece's friends, like I'm sure the girlfriends or whatever, yeah, yeah. like they are looking at Seth and ripped. You know what I'm saying? This rich guy in this boat. Yeah, and he ain't going to dress like, I, he ain't going to wear like sweats or something, you know? Like yeah. he's going to have like tiny dukes on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Where are you taking shorts. them? Yeah, uh, uh, just Conway. The the uh, dude, Conway. Like, oh, I'm right. trying to think of the, the, the sandbar. The, 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 no, the sandbar. Well, you can't get on the bridge, right? I got another spot to go in. At. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, so, so you don't have to go through the bridge. Mm-hmm. Um, I told you that was gonna happen. Uh, happen. So, uh, Your friend, the friendly BDMs, man, they're the best. Oh, oh some look BDM. At that. Look at that. Like I told you, you lost footing. You're no longer King Boat. <laughs> You're not King Boat anymore, man. Your nautical box, all that garbage is no, bullshit. Uh, this guy's King Boat. Yep, no, but Seth. You let another man come in and shit up your fucking <laughs> Facebook page. Yeah. Seth, Open up, here comes the spoon. I, I get, yeah, exactly. You got boat cuckled. Seth, That's the name no, of the show. Seth, I just, will, he'll burn the bridges of these BDM relationships. He doesn't no, know. No, I don't. I am very nice to everybody. No, when no, he can't no, get under bridges, he calls the BDMs <laughs> and he gets a new uh, spot. And I keep in contact with him. I invite him out. I, I tell him I appreciate it. Yeah, he, he's got that sweet only dick. fans, too. You I really can be throwing soapy butt hobby. at people all left and right for free shit. <laughs> Oh. I, I, I just have a feeling, Seth, that he's like, oh, thank you. And then he gets in, and then he never, no, like, you know, reciprocates. <laughs> that's not the case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I right. do think every time you talk to us, as soon as you walk out the door, you're like, ew, fat. And then you get in the car, <laughs> you drive away. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Uh, and what do you guys do at the sandbar? Just uh, hang out, drink oh, some what? beer? Him uh, and a bunch of 22-year-olds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You that's just, what we did last time, yeah. We just hung out and... Drank a couple beers. Yeah, I yeah. walked around and, t- and talked to people. I, I walked, walked around and jerked it in the woods. <laughs> 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 I hung out with a, a group of a group of gay guys. I found like last time we hung out and we talked the whole time. They were kind of fun. I'm here with my <laughs> niece's friends. You guys want to <laughs> jerk off together in a circle? <laughs> <laughs> Do you poop in the water again? Not, not the not, not the last uh, time. Hey, oh, you okay. gay guys want to poop in the water with me? <laughs> You guys like that, right? Because oh, you're it's, gay, it's it, tough. It, whatever, it's better than, I don't know. <laughs> it's better than cleaning that porta that porta John. I was this. That was fucking. Disgusting. It's not a porta John. <laughs> whatever. Uh, you use that por- thing? You never oh, use that. Oh, I know, gross. but my niece, my little niece. Oh, God. Your little niece. <laughs> my little How many nieces are you frolicking to? Yeah. Your twenty-two-year-old niece. No, 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 no. My little, little niece. niece. My because she had the period shits. <laughs> no, it was disgusting. And I was like, I was like, that's the thing. I told my sister. Told my sister, I'm like, let her go in the ocean, please. I'm like, go in the ocean. Go in the ocean. There's sharks. And, and no, so they have a toilet. I'm like, I never use that. I really don't know how it works. She's like, I think it just it, it goes think out it the just bottom of the boat. In it. <laughs> That's a I'm like, no, I don't I think don't it's plumbed. I'm like, I don't think it's plumbed like that. <laughs> I so don't know how it works. <laughs> so it's, not a, it's not the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> it's also not a. It's not a fucking iPhone 13. It's not like a, I don't know how to work yeah. it. What's like a Face ID? I no, know it's it a is, fucking it's hole. A, you no, shit. It's not complicated. It's just a bucket. But you pump the top and it squirts water in the bottom, and then you you pull a lever out and it goes to the bottom and it stays in the big container in the bottom yeah i thought it would it's like one of those uh, opaque mail yeah. containers then, oh, then you so gotta I take it out and then slosh oh, it oh, oh. it was, i wanted to I, I sloshed it and it was i fucking <laughs> hey gay guys come help me i put it, <laughs> I, and I put it right on the brick roads on ridgewood avenue and opened it up and no oh, no that's no. illegal so you're that, shitting that's, that's illegal you're not allowed <laughs> to do that oh, oh, yeah, well, i didn't know where else to do it <laughs> the rich people went apart oh yeah. man that's man. Belle Isle, dude they're pissed that's fine no not Belle. So, my home right Oh, and, over by and, your the lady, in my the, neighborhood. The which, lady that lives next to you must be uh, incensed no, that she had the bad luck. That, that old that lady. Some rich MMA the fighter. The old lady that was coming down, out of yeah. her driveway and you were blocking her driveway, <laughs> right? <laughs> what? That but lady. remember that we, when you uh, borrowed my truck last time, the, your neighbor was trying to get out. Yeah. And you're like, oh shit, oh, I gotta move. Yeah, you yeah, blocked yeah. her in. Well, <laughs> there's, cause there's a, it wasn't an old lady. It was just some, well, it's it's your some neighbor. Some, it was some renters. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh my God. Renters. So, uh, let's do first uh, voicemail. All right. Um, I keep forgetting that we are not on ACT and that I can play these uncensored ones mm. that are spicier. Let's go with this one. I believe this is about Finger Hut. Tom and Dan <laughs> Butler and Sam. Jim from Lakeland here on a, a recent ACT, uh, Crazy Horse Lady. You guys were talking about the Finger Hut catalog. Now, Finger Hut goes way, way, way back to when I lived uh, with my stepmom, Dorothy. And uh, while Dorothy hated every kind of animal, uh, she believed that uh, cats would steal your breath in your sleep and that dogs attracted lightning. Uh, so she had all these crazy beliefs about animals. And she didn't like animals, but she loved ceramic animals or house... Uh, 
looked like a zoo, just full of ceramic uh, turtles and squirrels and everything else. Uh, so she loved Finger Hut because Finger Hut had a wide selection of ceramic animals you could buy. Uh, the problem is, though, uh, in the catalog, they never tell you what size these things are. So she would order a set of ceramic squirrels, and it's boy squirrel chasing girl squirrel. And then the product shows up, and it's squirrel salt and pepper shakers, and she was just pissed because she was sure that these things were going to be a foot long and she could mount them on the wall like there were squirrels running around the house so uh although uh, finger hut disappointed her at every single turn we always got the catalog and she always placed the orders so uh, that's what i remember about finger hut i love you guys take care bye bye i remember the one remember i, I couldn't remember the yes. one and then and then people were throwing out some names I forgot about finger hut. we used to get a bunch of them and the one and sam you can look this one up but the one that really resonates with me especially this time of year is swiss colony Never yeah, even heard of that. I didn't know that one. Okay, yeah. Swiss Colony. It's still around, though. Yeah, Swiss Colony would have, like, they, really? they did all the chocolates, the cheeses, and the smoked meats. So you would get, you know, like, like uh, almost like... Uh, I remember the picture. The, is it Her I mean, not Heritage Farms? Swiss? Pepper Not Pepperidge Farms. Hickory Farms. Remember Hickory Farms in the yes. mall? They'd have, like, cheddar. You'd smell oh, it. Yeah, you'd yeah. walk by, they'd have barrels. They'd have some old guy in overall. Like, Come in here, try my meat oh, stick. Yeah. Meat and cheese assortments. Yeah, so, like, Swiss Colony is, like, a variation of that, except they would have a lot of caramels, and they'd have, like, chocolate. Didn't they give this to us in grade school to take home when you got to pick what we wanted? Sally Foster. That's, uh... Yeah, I think that, you're thinking of Sally Foster. Yeah, Swiss but Colony but it had was, that like... Stuff Hick in it, right? it had Hickory Farm stuff oh, in okay. for sale, so you'd buy... And the wrapping paper. Sorry, yeah, the ten of... It was so Crit. Cookies or popcorn yeah. or meats and cheeses yeah, or right. wrapping paper. We had to yeah, do yeah, yeah, world's yeah. famous chocolate. But this was a catalog that came to your house, and I think the reason I liked it, if I'm just trying to to dial it down, is the nostalgia because I was like, oh, Christmas is coming, and everything in there was kind of Christmas like. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah. you'd order a stocking with your name embroidered in it, and then inside of it would be cheese and meat and like a <laughs> caramel egg. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's what is it with uh, going back to Jim? Um, the figurines. By the way, Jim, that was your least uh, good call. Aww, <laughs> well, no, he's done a lot of them for us, and they've all been top tier. They've all been tens. I'm gonna have to give that one an when eight. When do you make the transition into figurines as you age as a woman? Because it seems like well, I just wife bought two it. ceramic pumpkins from Publix today. <laughs> she did. Well, you she did. did. Yes, she did. I watched right, her do all it. All right, well, you're Mickey and Minnie ceramic pumpkins. I watched her do it. I also up. I also watched her I mean, take one and go like, Oh no, the paint chipped on this one, <laughs> and put it back and get a better one. <laughs> oh. I saw that happen too. That's all true. I'm not I should buy a damaged some, pumpkin. Well, you could have got some money off it. I supported it. Do that. I what's, supported uh, Sam in this person. What's the chance that the gym calls up a figurines and I ask, what's the age you start buying figurines? Right and there. Sam's like, I 35. bought a figurine. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah, because my wife has a lot. She's building yeah. up no, a lot of bric-a-brac. No, don't put me in that with the Louis no. Armstrong doll. I'm I, not yeah. that I mean, in. in five years, you could be there. I mean, this yeah. it started with some turtles. <laughs> my wife, yeah. it started with a uh, some collecting some turtles and bric-a-brac. I bric -a -brac. like turtles. <laughs> <laughs> and then now we've got a bunch of garbage everywhere. And then I'm like, what the fuck? is this what how's your collection coming like this makes my it, heart happy it's <laughs> all it's all it's does your all, wife do it no not at all but having you collect a bunch of bullshit it's <laughs> it shared now well, right? yeah, maybe your wife doesn't do it because you got all that yeah, goddamn garbage yeah you so you do uh, it you, like, you do it you're an like, old man we're trashy enough i'm keeping this place clean and streamlined yeah. how about you how's your collection where where is it prop pr like where could i see it where is it displayed? I'm, well, that, it, it's all over my house, but it's just little bric-a-brac that she starts picking up. And she's got like this one where, and Tommy broke the I head off. I need another visit yeah, to Van House. Yeah, right. He broke the head off. But of it's it. like <laughs> it's like I would say uh, twelve inches tall. God yeah. damn! And it's it looks like it's carved, but it's like molded plastic or some shit. Okay. Right? It's like molded. So it's something. a reproduction. Shit, shit. We call those statues. And then it's like. It looks like two ghosts with no faces, and they're embracing each other like husband and wife. Oh, like, oh, like, <laughs> erotic, like yeah. erotic, like African erotic art, like those paintings, ghost lovers, like those African erotic art paintings. I always wanted to buy it. They everything in their house is like what a porn producer would have. Like it's always like two <laughs> no. ghosts fucking. No, no, or, just, or the, their own asses. It's just like a, a husband a and poster. wife ghost, but a there's Hallmark no gift. Yeah, but there's it, no face. But there's no face. She's all, picturing somebody else's face. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, like, that's why. Just a weird brick yeah. Right. This, this is statue like, is called Soulless Marriage. I'm gonna, put, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna put this on her dresser. And then I'm like, all right, why? Why do we have it? Who, what is it bringing you joy? What are we a Holiday Inn? What, yeah, like, what is it? I'm what like, do you what? think she's spending on this stuff? Like, how much is all this? Stuff I don't. Who knows? Uh, but it, <laughs> why? But what? Who is it for? 
Is it for people to, that when well, they come over, her. or like does that bring you well, like is oh it, the ghost? I uh, maybe <laughs> <What> is <laughs> it? I don't know. <laughs> is it art that she collects because you know I have art from different artists that I collect? Yeah, but that's a painting on the wall, right? right. That's, that's fine. Like a person, that's a one. Op- that's a one only thing. Right? Yeah, like, this is probably mass produced. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trash. <laughs> yeah, it's just, oh, just, it's what, like a brick a brick. It's just like a Hummel, all that shit. It's like, what is it? <laughs> like, why does that bring you joy? <laughs> what do you uh, see? It, uh, what like, if it does for her, then let her just let Yeah, her just let her have it. Do you he, see? Hates, he hates joy. You should just draw just a face. Face. I don't even think it does. Make, draw fun, her, face make fun of her here, and that's fine. But, but that's the thing. But I don't even think she would looks she at it. Would she notice if it were gone? Yes, oh, so it steal, crazy. start stealing it one. <laughs> start stealing it one by one. Crazy one. hoarders notice everything. Would They're like, notice? "Where's my Burger King wrapper? <laughs> <laughs> I put it on the floor." If I, <laughs> I'm like, "What the fuck? Somebody show my cat shit tower." That's a mental illness. <laughs> Would you know? you? It's like Seth will be at the heart doctor this time next year. I know. I it's know inevitable. That. It has to happen. Did you notice? If, would she uh-huh. notice if you drew a face on it, like with a crayon? I, well, the head. Tommy broke the head off. I glued it back on. She oh. didn't notice that. Uh, oh. So, do you guys have like for uh, Christmas have like the nativity scene with all like the no, uh, no, no, mangers? No. Okay, I, I do know. now. When my mom, this would be the first year that oh, really? I mean, I was thinking about putting up my mom, my mom's mom, who made. I can't show it. I can show this side. Who made this uh, figurine of uh, Jesus? <laughs> and I, and the back side of it is something else. Um, they, uh, she made that. She also made a nativity scene by hand. And I have the whole thing, and it's all wrapped up in newspaper in like a box. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. I guess I could set it up, or you, you're not even sentimental like me. So just uh, I kind of want to give it away. It. <laughs> just but Andrea, it. it's one of the only things because it meant so much to my mom. So Christian, so into God. Her mother made it, handmade it. Let's put it's it. everybody. All the animals. The building is in three parts. It's It lights up. It's got a old, br- you know, remember brown plugs? And then when you get to <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. Br- if you got something that's got a brown plug, <laughs> good luck, because you're about to die. The brown plug goes all the way down. Oh, and, then, plug. and then the plug is two parts, it's and two it's parts black. Is, yeah, and it's been skinny. screwed together with copper screws that apparently only <laughs> Ben Franklin had. <laughs> it's some steampunk shit. And then two... Pure copper prongs come out and they look <laughs> very ornate. You know, they uh, like, and then when you put the thing in, it always arcs and sparks, but it'll turn on. And then the light <laughs> is always wrapped with black electrical tape. I'm like, why? Is it that dangerous? <laughs> also, it's just like, you set this thing up hot. For who? Hot as fuck. <laughs> yeah. You turn that light. I swear to God, I got a brand new system from American Air and Heat. I put that nativity scene on for one hour, it raises it by 10 degrees in our house. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking light. <laughs> ah. yeah. Let's do uh, email. Oh, uh, I wasn't yeah, sorry, prepared. Sorry. Uh, we can do a voicemail yeah, between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Voicemail email. All we right, played the mail on see. mail thing, but I think we're having fun today and we're not remembering what we're doing. Yeah, so yeah. it's just like okay. we're, we're just keeping it loose and ice relaxed Ice cream today. truck shenanigans. The ice cream truck story recently on ACT made me think of a funny story. About two to three years ago, I would be outside on the weekends with my kids. They were 8, 10, and 12 at the time, and the ice cream truck would just show up literally every Saturday and Sunday, obviously much to my chagrin. It was easily $20 for the three kids, except when the crow would hear the truck and yell, get me a bomb pop. It was so frequent. I love bomb pops. It was so frequent and timed perfectly that I found it suspect. Plus, there was a constant laughter when that damn truck would pull down the block with that annoying music. Frostbit overpriced product and my three kids demanding money, and it definitely wasn't the nicest setup. I finally cornered my youngest daughter, who was an angel, and held her feet to the fire. Why does this ice cream truck come by so often on the weekends? She is the good one and ultimately gives up the goods. The ice cream truck comes to our summer camp and told us we can download an app and contact them and they will come by whenever we want. This absolutely blew my effing mind. I was super pissed, felt extremely naive and impressed with the creativity all at the same time. Though kids being able to summon an ice cream truck seems like cheating, I do respect the hustle. That's good. That's I, really good idea. That's I, dope, I, man. I, I would be proud of my sons. With my new truck. <laughs> if <laughs> you want to become an ice cream truck, <laughs> that's a good side hustle. Yeah. <laughs> At the margin, and then all he's the doing it for the kids, guys. Me. Just like his cars, <laughs> tampon cards for the kids. Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I think you want to make him happy. I think you want a baby, man. Yeah. No, I don't. The uh, no, I do. I did ten uh, seven years ago. I mean, yeah. subconsciously, I think this guy's baby crazy. <laughs> you need a puppy or something. Well, you see the uh, the time running out. Um, like that's true. Like we have every trip to the doctor, you're wasting a year off your life. Like <laughs> we have Ooh, our, that's a lot of years. Our, I'm for- our kids that, and we watch them grow, and uh, that makes us realize how time's going by yeah. fast. Seth has his girlfriend, and every <laughs> yeah, year he's like, "Oh my god, Louise." Yeah, yeah. 
Um, let's do another He's voicemail. Like, the style of pubic hair has changed again. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, sorry, I shouldn't have laughed at that. Um, let's try this one. What's up, TND? It's Chart and Randy. Dan, I have never agreed with you more on anything than the fact that these Instacart and ship people need to get out of our grocery stores. They're in the way. They are pillaging empty shelves. I know that's not all them, but it's mostly them. Put them in the ghost store. Get them out. You're the good one. Change the name of the show. Dan and Tom. That is all. Wow. Oh, you guys talked about that? Because that's so fucking true. What's funny, <laughs> though, is that I'm so not sure true. I like the way Randy said it. He's like, you write about these goddamn Instacarters. Get them out of there. Let me tell you about these goddamn Instacarters and why Those we need Those people. To get them out of here. Yeah. yeah, I do like referring to them as that. And I, from now on, I'll be like, oh, you're you one You can't of really them. blame them for the uh-uh. shelves being empty because it's people ordering that, but you can blame them for always being in your way and oh. being super aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't even so want to kick them every day. I, I don't really even blame them, even though I'm ag- aggravated with them, and, and sometimes they're not nice. I am mad at Instacart because they know they could build a facility and they know they're making enough money off site where they could build a warehouse, a luxury warehouse for them to, to work in that would be better for them. They wouldn't have to... Uh, go through the rigmarole and this, all this. No, they'd show up to this this store that's built for them. Like yes. they'll have everything organized a different way than they'll have it organized in the most optimum way. Right. Everything will be coming in, and they'll it'll be easier for them, and it'll be great. But maybe eventually it'll get to that point. It should. Kroger's doing it now, and I know some. I saw some people do you know push back on what you like or what you don't like. Look, it's not man, just Instacart; it's the Prime too. Like I'm, at Whole Foods, they the same crap. Yeah, or, I'm just trying to save a little money. The store themselves, if they build some extra facility, I mean, they're going to want to make all the money. They're not doing. They're not going to build a facility just for Instacart to make the money. They're going to build a facility and figure they out. They can how to, have a partnership with somebody. How to cut it? Cut just them like out. Just like Amazon and Whole Foods. Yeah. yeah. You know, Juan brings up a good point too. He's like, during the pandemic. I mostly used uh, Amazon Fresh because uh, they shop at a warehouse. Felt bad for sending Instacart slaves to get COVID for me uh, to bring my groceries back. That's yeah, true. What? Be safer for Amazon. Too. They're at Whole Foods. What do you mean? What, is that something else? That no, they. Happen? I think they do have some that are shopped uh, warehouse picked. Oh. I know that's what Kroger does because they got their facility. It's out. I want to say out towards Apopka because they come a long way. But they load up this big old refrigerated truck. It's awesome. I love it. Oh. Let's do uh, another email. Oh. All right. This one. Uh, this is the old. Uh, Florida trash dog name contest that yes. Tom mm. came up with. It's the title says dog name, but not sure you can use it. I think you know where this might be going. Oh okay. no, is it a racist dog name? Not sure the story is appropriate, <laughs> but maybe you can use it for a discussion. My father, while he never had a white trash dog name, did experience a friend that had one. He was an electrician that moved from Miami to Central Florida, but kept a small contingent of workers in Miami that required him to come down every few months. His friend would let my dad rent a room for the days he was in Miami. And as all, quote, good 90s Caucasian people in Miami do, they owned a large Rottweiler that proceeds to name the N-word. Obviously completely unacceptable and racist. My father did not care for the name, but $25 a night is not bad and he's cheap. Uh, Well, as all of us would expect, something went awry. One time while staying at this house, the owners slash friends were not home and just left him a key. While trying to get his tools in the house through the front door, out of fear they would be stolen from his car, the dog got out. This sounds like this an old dad joke. joke. This is a dad this joke. This is no. an old dad I'm joke. I'm not falling yeah, yeah. for this. This yep. is some guy that remembered a joke. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. wanted us to read this story and he thought we'd bite. I'm yeah, sorry, yeah. but we're Floridians and we know this? all your <laughs> jokes. Hey, yeah, yeah. And no, Daniel knows because his okay. dad told him this yeah, joke. I'm pretty sure my dad wrote that joke. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This yeah, is we're for sure. Going, we're not going st- down that road. A stupid old racist There's a lot of them. I'll give you a variation of it. There's a variation of a racist joke where they're like, uh, where they and it's always to make the race look ignorant or stupid, you know, obviously to belittle them. And it's uh, oh, did you hear about the girl whose name was Animal? Or uh, and and uh, they read it off a paint can, enamel, like not animal or whatever. Uh-huh. It, it, it's just like there's always variations mm-hmm. of these stupid. That's a that's made up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What is the shoot. '90s mm-hmm. Rottweiler thing? A real trash thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. one growing up. I had one growing uh, yeah, up too. Yeah, yeah. 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 the math. Yeah. It's I mean. Florida trash. Yeah, that's uh, up, yeah. Um, we like pit bulls, <laughs> Dobermans. We <laughs> like pit bulls. I never had a pit bull, uh, but <laughs> I did. I, I did. Okay, <laughs> yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah, one of the pit bull, Doberman, yeah. Rottweiler. Do, yeah. Does uh, we get a German Shepherd too? Golden Setter. I had a. Uh, I had a, a beagle. 
That's that's yeah. fine. Oh, that's, a, that's, that's a Florida, really that's a Florida gay thing. It was one of my uh, <laughs> it was one of my grandfather's hunting dogs. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess uh, yeah, it was a puppy. One of his hunting puppies. Hounds. I yeah, guess it was a hound. I guess hounds are more like Virginia. Yeah, <laughs> it is. Yeah. It was very Virginia. Yeah, I'm yeah, not like sure I had north. any business having it, considering uh, <laughs> it was pure hound, and all it wanted to do is dig and murder. Yeah. Flo- that's it. Florida likes attack dogs. Anything yeah. to guard your junkyard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So well, that's what we like. Big stuff. All right, let's uh, take a little look, break. Yeah, let's take a break. We got weird music this week, and I mean we weird in a, in a good way. Seth, what time you gotta leave? Uh, uh, what, is Ross not coming? He's, he's well, no, he does. He does. Yeah, he, he, he does it over Zoom he, from his house. He doesn't come in here. Yeah, 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 yeah. he, he doesn't want here. our COVID. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's like, why would I come? Uh, you know, I'll just do it over Zoom. Well, that yeah. just seems lazy. But yeah. okay. Yeah. Oh, wow. He actually researches his news. So <laughs> yeah. oh. I do too on the toilet. And it pays quite a bit more. Tough room. The nieces are nicer. Um, <laughs> the name of the band is Angel Dust. This is called Big Bite. It's brand new. We'll be right back. You like the surf rock there, buddy? Yeah, yeah. That's Blue Stingrays with Monsoon. Welcome back to a Mediocre Time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. Ready to do it? Let's do it. All right. Ross's piece of shit news. Ross's news brought to you by Tots with Ross, uh, the Orlando talk show with Ross McCoy. If you want to listen to that, just uh, download any uh, podcast platform and it'll be there. Right, Ross? If you want to listen to that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. I'm bad at promoting. <laughs> yeah, that's you true. are. Yeah. That's true. You know, that's, that's an honest uh, thing. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, uh, it, I know it uh, comes off uh, insincere, but it's just me being an R word. If you undervalue your eardrums to the point where you would stuff that into them, it's there. I well, it's because I start talking without any idea of where I'm going. So as oh, he knows how you operate. As I'm promoting, I'm like, well, <laughs> yeah. can you listen to any any platform? Uh, has he mentioned that in the past? Like, I'm trying not to fuck it up. It's uh, like I, 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 because I'm like he's listening to me. He's right Just there. Say the Orlando talk show. Yeah, 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 yeah. I guess everybody knows how to listen to podcasts. Now. Easy enough <laughs> to find. Uh, you've been well, man. Everything good. I'm doing good, doing good. A lot of construction over here. We're getting shit done at this house. Nice. I like it. Um, I guess first story. Let's jump in. Yeah. All right. Tom, uh, I know you've been uh, inundated with with, uh, news about the real life Pulver, where there is an app uh, that you, you know, kind of called where people could use other people's pools. If, you know, I, I, you know, we, we heard about it uh, recently, but maybe it might be off the market now due to the liability issues that we talked about. Mm. But I, th- I think the real pool uh, that you need to get into, they uh, until just recently had this in Nashville. This guy just got shut down in downtown Nashville. He had thrown a hot tub on a trailer bed and he would run it around downtown Nashville and they'd shut <laughs> him down for, um, for failing to secure like any sort of permits for it. But you should gank this idea while he's all tied up in court, Tom. Ross, hot tub? Ross, you're freaking me out a little bit because there was a guy in Deland that did this who got arrested for doing this years ago. <laughs> like when arrested I, for? Like when I was a kid. Well, it's dangerous, Tom. You don't put a hot tub on a trailer right, and drive it around with sloshing water. The sloshing water? <laughs> yeah, you're not to, there were people in it. Oh, okay. This guy in Nashville, they were like, all right, you know what? Uh, we, we have no problem with this uh, as such, but you got to get permits for it. And this guy, instead of going and get the permits, he came up with some weird um, clause that he invented where he said his hot tub was 50 gallons under the limit where he needed to secure <laughs> permits. And then the city of Nashville came back and said, no, that's uh, made up bullshit, sir. And they fucking, uh, they, they took his hot tub away. Oh, <laughs> he was don't so, take it away. Hold on. What an Just idiot. They took his, away, his ability to use it, Dan. They didn't, he can't drive it around anymore. Dude, uh, the next hot tub and mini fridge event, we get a hot uh, tub. We put it on your mom's trailer. You still oh, got that, yeah, right? Yeah, we do still have that. And and we need a generator. Was, because that, of a was that a shot? Yeah. I get that was the shot. What do you mean? You said, uh, oh, we can put it on your mom's trailer. You still got that, don't you? Because, yeah, that was a shot to say I'm selling all of it. He well, was you sold the other stuff. Yeah, I've sold everything. Uh, I need money. <laughs> I'm a drug addict. 
I so, thought it was even meaner. I thought it was, uh, you don't have your mom anymore, but you at least got the trailer. Yeah. Right? No, no, yeah. I was That's all you ever cared about was her trailer. I, this guy's got no heart over Yeah, here. we could put a hot tub but, on my mom's trailer. and, and yeah, Because as long as it's uh, like uh, not moving, you could just park it somewhere. Well, isn't and it, doesn't it go like that? I mean, you have to like, is it prop up? Like, is it going to be a slanted? Like, the, the, the tip of the trailer goes down, so the water's uh, going to be out. We'll have to work that out. <laughs> well, you, we'll uh, get a drop. If you keep you know. it uh, hitched, uh, it should be fine. Yeah, if you take it off the hitch. I'm saying take up the hitch. Yeah. Plus, it may be oh heavy as hell. And all the Busey's beauties fall out. <laughs> and their, their extensions <laughs> fall out. Oh, uh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's uh, it was still a work in progress. Uh, we'll, we'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, we'll work on it. Uh, next story, Ross. All right. Not Banksy news, but uh, Banksy adjacent, I'm going to call it. Danish artist Jens Honning. Uh, he's pulled off my favorite art heist uh, currently of all time. Uh, he got hired by a museum uh, to uh, recreate uh, two pieces he'd done before that were basically banknotes attached to a canvas, okay? All right. So this uh, this museum has a, has a show coming up. They think these pieces would be a good addition to the show, and they, they hire him to recreate these pieces. They, uh, they pay him about 4000 bucks to do it, and they also give him what they called a loan of $84,000 in Danish kroner, okay? The, the money to do it is his straight up. And then they give him this loan of money to create the artwork with, right? Uh-huh. And again, the artwork is to be the bills basically attached to the canvas, displayed on the wall, yeah. just like that. That's it. Uh, so what he did, he uh, when it came time to turn in the art, he turned in two blank canvases that he had titled Take the Money and Run. And so now he's saying, <laughs> he's saying, they're saying um, that he is defrauded and scammed them by stealing this money. And he's saying, no, I didn't. I turned in a piece of art and the art is also that I have taken the money. When they, yes. when they, were, hey, hey, in that- when they come at him and say that you defrauded us, he is now saying that was part of the art of it. Ha ha. Yeah. In this world, <laughs> Ross, I'm afraid I got to go with the guy. Yeah. And, and I hate this guy for doing that, but I got to think, I'm thinking of the art world and how that thing operates and how things are getting shredded and Banksy and, you know, and, and Obey and uh, Shepard, Fe- what is uh, it? Uh, Sophie Fairley and all that. It's like, yeah. The, yeah this, this quote, he says, uh, they, they accused him of theft, right? And he says, it's not theft. It's a breach of contract. And the breach of contract is part of the work. So that's good. <clears throat> but man. you could get personally sued, right? I mean, they could take you to, uh, you know, court personally for that. I mean, even though if it's not deemed illegal, right? They could probably sue to get their money back. Or I mean, he's got an argument because. Well, uh, what if you buy that painting? Does it also come with the eighty-four thousand dollars? No, because the whole point it was part is of the like, money. It yeah, was, no, it was he, part of the art though. Yeah, but he took the money and ran, and all you get is a blank canvas. Performance art. Yeah, yeah. That, that's the it's, his point. Yeah, I mean, I see what he's doing. Although I'm so skeptical nowadays, it feels like even this is part of the like publicity stunt. Yeah, and if it is, then well, <clears throat> then well done. I think you know. What I mean, if they display it and then people come to see it, and if he can somehow prove like you sold X amount of tickets, way far exceeding the eighty four thousand dollars of it all. I think he would have a case that you know he did his fucking job. It, nowadays, yeah, with with there being so much news out there and so many stories that are just clickbait and things that are put out there, like you see them all the time, and there'll be like nine hundred uh, uh, comments on something, and then it's <clears throat> you know viewed eighty thousand times or whatever. You see the story, and then I'm like, well. They monetize that by just adding like uh, ads to that story, and that's where they're making the money, right? Okay, yeah. It's, but that's how yeah, it works. That's, that's, okay. that's how I think it works. Yeah. So it's just you come out with a story that you know is going to be clicked on a lot, and then you sell the clicks to advertisers. Yeah, the story is 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 just is really hmm. meaningless. It's only for the. It's almost like farming clicks. And then I wonder what that is actually worth. Like, if you get if you put out a story that gets, uh, you know, uh, ninety seven thousand views and nine hundred comments, is I I, I want to put a monetary amount to that. Like, is that five thousand dollars? Man, <laughs> you know, like, I, what is it? I mean, I'm sure we could. <clears throat> we have to do a little bit of research, but because after I know- a bit, I think we could get somebody that could answer us. You know, the person that we 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 haven't asked this, but he wasn't doing as well as he is now we should ask john bustecker i think he would know within that world 
okay, you have this story, you run this story, it gets a million views. What is that monetarily? What what can you? Well, to him, it was nothing. Put on that. Like it, right. like he doesn't sell the ads in there, but it's like if right. he sold the ads, I don't think it's that much, which is insane because that's an, a crazy amount of views, you know. But um, I think it's like, you know in a couple of hundred dollars, probably, and you know which is crazy low. Anyway, uh, next story, Ross. All right, uh, this ca- this guy in Connecticut uh, caught what he thought was a record breaking catfish. I-, I don't know how well versed you are in catfishery, Tom. You know the different catfishes. I I know you. What do you noodle for them? Yeah. The big ones. You yeah. put you put your hand in their hole. And I know then my they... brother used to leave them on the dock to bake because he hated catching them. <laughs> yeah, well, they, oh they're God. gross. Why torture them? Even if you hate them, don't yeah, torture I know. them. I was mad. I, I, I always threw them back. I remember yeah. like going. Yeah, fish. you should do a charity event where you murder a uh, uh, catfish <laughs> to save goldfish. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> it's still my favorite thing uh, Seth ever did. He's doing a charity <laughs> event. He's like, all oh, you can eat pig. When I was a young boy, I uh, went fishing at my <laughs> uncle's house. Sorry. And uh, he uh, he caught a catfish. So, hey, I'm sorry to interrupt, but you're officially starting uh, stories with when I yes, was a young exactly. boy. Yes, <laughs> exactly. Thank you. He he caught the catfish, and he's like he's like they're too slimy to hold on to to skin them, so you got to nail their head to oh, a board. Yeah. And oh. he's like, and he's like, watch out! They scream like a woman. <laughs> it's like a woman. Yeah, yeah. And that's, then uh, that's what his pop up said. And, and then he's it was my uncle. Oh, your uncle, yeah. yeah. So, I know it was a family story. He was raised by my pop-up. But yeah. it, he's nailing its head and screaming, and then he's ripping its skin off. Still alive, by the way. And then I'm like, well, That's well, good eating right there. <laughs> I'm like, well, this doesn't make me want to do this again. <laughs> it's like, it's like, Fishing's uh, great. Anyway, um, so I only know like uh, the tiny blob-like catfish with the spike whiskers, whiskers. that we have here yeah, in Yeah, like the Florida ones. Oh. Which is, of course, the technical term. Uh, this guy thought he had broken the state record for uh, maybe even the world record for a white catfish. A uh, previous state record was 12.71 or 12.7 pounds. And this guy pulled in one that was more than 21 pounds. Right. Oh, damn. Uh, so the state was all excited about it. Connecticut gave him the record and then they had to retract it because uh, when they went to go and see the actual physical fish, to verify it, uh, uh, they had cooked it and eaten it. <laughs> oh my oh, god! No, why did they do that? So does he get to keep the record, or he does not? Because okay. the, the records that he submitted, they were good enough, like at first look. But there is also another species of catfish called the channel catfish that looks basically exactly the same as the white catfish. But you need an in-person inspection to determine whether. And the channel catfish can be a lot bigger. So this guy cannot have the record because his grandpa fried it up, basically. Plus oh, the- God. That sucks. <laughs> Could you- There's no pictures of it? And they I bet it wasn't do- that good because yeah, the bigger pictures. it is, right? It ain't well, going to be can't good. See that good. You have to probably stick your finger you, up. You don't want a big seat. catfish. You want to eat the little catfish to get that sweet meat. Could you, like, oh, if you got a catfish and you think it's close to the record, could you shove a bunch of bolts and things down its oh, mouth? Oh, I could shove anything <laughs> in a catfish. <laughs> well, I'm just saying to make I'm it- I'm good at shoving stuff in fish. Pretty sure they check. It has to be alive. You'll kill it if you do that. Well, does, well, I mean, it'll I last for a little while. I, if I does got, it have to be alive? If I had for a, fishing <laughs> tournaments, they do. If I had uh, a catfish but, and I opened it, or a bass, if I open a bass's mouth, a big mouth bass, and I just put, put a bunch my of wallet, metal, I put my keys <laughs> in there. Metal washers. Yeah, or something, whatever. I put a, you know. It'll live yeah, for a and, while. And then I put it back in the water. It'll swim around. I'll be like, whoa, what the hell happened to me? Like, <laughs> yeah. I'll be like, ah! Ah! Be, but it'll be a, it'll last for two or three days. So I don't really think of like Connecticut as like rednecky. I don't know. I've never even been to Connecticut, but this quote got me. It says it said he intends to submit a claim to the association to secure the new world record, but he also told the newspaper that he gave the fish to his grandfather the next morning, quote, it kind of got eaten. <laughs> it kind of did. Yeah, it we, either did or it didn't, right? We, yeah. we give a lot of shit to Florida for having rednecks, but they are everywhere. They are everywhere. <laughs> they're, everywhere. they're New York. Yeah. They're, you know, all these places I, that you don't just, think. Yeah, back I mean, they're white forget, trash everywhere. I'll never forget going Our to whole country. upstate New York. I go to upstate New York, and there's some guy at some gas stations. Uh, Hi there, Mike. You know, I'm like, what the hell are you? <laughs> yeah. I'm like, what uh, is California? This? There's yeah. rednecks yeah, in California. They're out there. Oh, and, and they're and mad. They, and they sound <laughs> like, like, I, it's the majority of America. It's the majority of America for sure. Because every time you go there. You ever been to West Virginia? 
Oh no. yeah, oh, hills yeah. literally have eyes. Oh, that's, <laughs> bad. that's bad. That's bad. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're, they're in New, New Mexico, like uh, North Dakota, like everywhere. Yeah. You know, like we just we want to put all the trash in Florida, maybe Texas and the South. Well, no, but no, they're other, everywhere. Other states just have pockets of trash. We're the only state that's brave <laughs> enough to go all trash. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all just got pockets of it. We go yeah. all trash. All we're, in. We're brave. Ross loves Florida. I love Florida. We're mm-hmm. brave. Mm-hmm. Uh, next story, Ross. All right. It's that time of year again, you guys. Mm. They're uh, taking the, uh, they got the, I think it's the final 12 that they're going to put uh, in the Toy Hall of Fame. Yes. All right. <laughs> I love Look, Toy Hall of Fame. You know I love Toy Hall of Fame. This year's nominees uh, American Girl Dolls. I thought they were uh, in Battleship. There. Oh, the game good. billiards. Uh, <laughs> what? Cabbage dolls. Wait. Hold on. The, uh, the, the wait, actual game every, of billiards. Wait, hold on, bro. Everything <laughs> yes. you've listed, I think he did billiards, American Girl dolls, or uh, Battleship, Battleship, and Cabbage Patch dolls. All four of those should have already been in, in my right? opinion, especially billiards. Jesus Christ! Yeah, and wouldn't you categorize mm-hmm. billiards as more? I mean, I was about to is say that a sport. sport but was, it's like darts. I mean, it's on ESPN. I mean, stuff. it's in the same category as darts, right? It's it's so. higher than darts, right? Yeah, it's like taken more seriously. Uh, taken more seriously, yeah. It's like, like sports for diabetes, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although <laughs> right? all the trick shots it's below bowling. The trick shot guys are all super skinny. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's the redneck flip. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's um, called the deer dick. What else we got, Ross? Uh, Fisher Price corn popper. I know that. Thing? What? Yeah, the push the thing. thing. The handle and two wheels that you run along the carpet and yeah. fucking drive your grandpa bad shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes yeah. like, oh. It's basically a plastic ball. Uh, I know what it is, that, but these are old as shit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, it's like doing that like yeah. as your you know little kids do it. That's how they learn how to walk. Yeah, my son's my, had those. That's how you learn how to clean the house. Mahjong is up. Isn't that uh, a thousand years old? Yeah, like, I mean, I I mean, what is that? Wasn't that like the a Meng Dynasty game. game or something? <laughs> why, why are they doing First that? First game of all time. I know. It's like listen, time. listen, hold your fire, guys, because we got one on the list that is literally as old as dirt. Okay. <laughs> uh, up next, my personal pick, Masters of the Universe. Fucking put He Man in already. Nice. Oh, yeah. Good call. Mm. The Pinata. <laughs> is that a toy though? Oh man, this is why no. this is why Tom hates this list. Well, hold on, let's pause with pinata. pinata. Uh, okay. w- Ross, uh, did you do the pinata with your uh, sons growing up? The one time I was present when my children engaged in a pinata, it was uh, at my kids' middle school. It was like a rite of passage every year. Second grade did a pinata. And the year, and I ended up like on fucking room duty that day somehow. <laughs> they might have like specifically brought dads in for this shit, and like every kid in class got a wax, like multiple wax at it, blindfolded and then unblindfolded, and then they did not come on dads. And the other dad came over and was unable to break this fucking thing. And I had to, um, I had to murder the pinata. Yeah, <laughs> I love it. Show those, show those narc dads what's huge, up. Huge uh, champagne sword <laughs> anger yell, <laughs> yeah. beating that thing yeah. senseless. I love it. I was, I was gonna bring that point up. Is every single time I had a kid's birthday party, including my own, when he used to do the pinata, we we said, "Are you stopped. sick of your kids' pinatas being too tough?" <laughs> well, no one's we ever just make really weak pinatas. Yeah, get one from the Dollar Tree. Well, it's become where now they have just strings and everybody pulls a string because whacking them, no one's what? ever break no one's ever been able to break the pinata no. in half and have the candy fall Kids out. Kids can't do it. They they go their noodle arms are too weak. Such yeah. weak <laughs> I know, but for ten minutes we have to stop and wait until every single kid at the party hits the pinata. No, not even close to even breaking it. No, and they tap it. They like tap it. And spin. They tap <laughs> it. And spin. They tap. It. I mean, it, you could go on for a hundred years. Yeah, and we just have to wait, and then Nightmare. finally <laughs> the dad like just rips the butthole. No. Off. <laughs> oh my god! And then sh- I will rip the butthole. And then shakes the candy on the floor. Yeah, and then the, I was like, "Well, this, this is dirt." Not- it's like, why don't you put it on the table? It's stupid. Um, and uh, I think me and Seth are probably frustrated because uh, the real issue with the pinata: everybody gets a pinata, nobody gets a stick. And Seth, not everybody is like me and you and has an umbrella stand full of bow staffs laying around. True. So, like, you know, you end up hitting it with one of these hollow core broomstick handles yeah. from fucking Walmart, and you can't break shit with that. You no. can break a paper bag. Yeah. You can't. Yeah, yeah. It's because no like, one- I'd hand my kid a nunchuck for sure. 
<laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. It's uh hey, whatever it takes. It just seems like uh it's a flop every time. And the candy is usually not good. If it's preloaded. Well, if it's preloaded. If it's preloaded, shit, the candy's yeah. shitty. That's yeah, all Smarties. Yeah, it's, yeah, <laughs> but it's like sometimes it doesn't come out. Or those red candies. It's just, what is that? It's called like cinnamon disc. I snorted <laughs> oh, yeah, It's cinnamon disc. That sounds great. Yeah. <laughs> Seth, for Halloween, you should do like 50 pinatas in your dojo and make everybody uh, destroy them with karate weapons or bare hands. I have them all hanging up. I have. It's actually kind of dangerous how I have the weapons hanging in the dojo, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I have, glad, I have I'm glad sickles. you're coming clean with it. I have super sharp sickles hanging on the walls, and they, I have them do sprints before class, and uh, there's been. They usually never run into the wall. I hope they don't sprint into my sickles. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I tell them, I'm like, stay away from the wall, guys. As you see these sharp weapons, they will come right down on you if you if you <laughs> this wall. A slightest uh, tap will uh, oh, rain sickles. Uh, Stop uh, running! You're gonna knock my sickles out. <laughs> uh, uh, luckily, knocking wood hasn't happened yet. I mean, I had to yell at one of the kid the other day though. I was like, I told you not to hit the wall. I can't wait until uh, Seth has to sell the eighty-one thousand dollar <laughs> boat because he's getting sued. I'm getting sued because I chopped <laughs> this kid's feet off with my sickle. <laughs> Right. They all signed a waiver. <laughs> the sickles yeah. included. <laughs> They're like, who? Javier, wrote? get a sickle waiver. Get a new student. <laughs> this waiver says rooms to go. <laughs> <laughs> we are here in front of the do the jungle dojo where onlookers say it was literally raining sickles. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they'll sue you crazy. Um, next story, Ross. All right, last couple uh, nominees. We've got the board game Risk, oh. board game Catan. The toy fire engine. And uh, last on the list, sand. <laughs> no. Is it Jesus kinetic Christ. sand or, or is it just sand? Oh, Rock the is National on there too. The Toy Hall of Fame is making the case that sand is perhaps the oldest and most universal toy in the world. Sandbox. Yeah. No, we got it. My dad came. No, we understood. Seth. No, Seth, we had it. We got it. We, we, we. Well, you're saying it at the beach. That's not a box. It's at the beach. It's like, oh yeah, sandbox. Good call, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good. Hey, good call. Sorry, stay But that's a good point, Seth. You do have like wild and domestic varieties of, right. of play sand. You could do it in the controlled uh, environs of your backyard in a mm -hmm. box, or just. At the fucking beach, you know, next to the raw elemental ocean. And 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 just to, mm. to weigh in on what you're saying, Chigardi's right. As a child mm. for, I think, like Tommy's age, I got sand for my birthday. It's, is sand? I got a full dump truck of sand. Again, my dad came with the dump truck from Petrozelli Construction and dumped sand in a sandbox. Yeah, <laughs> but the dump truck is about 100 cu me cubic meters. So your dad's meters. cheap, too, because it came from the construction exactly. company. Yeah, but he, but he buried the sandbox, I so literally it was just this. a big mound of sand. The yeah. box was under it, and we had to dig through it. To that is it. a white trash floor thing to do, because yeah, yeah. my dad would order a dump truck, too. and then the dump truck would come. We'd be like, I, yeah. never, I had yeah. never heard of this until I talked yeah. to you guys about this. It's, my mom would be out there, we'd be like, Mr. Sandman. And he'd be yeah, it's right next with a little <laughs> bit of money. Hey. Yeah, so they want to waste a little bit of money and show their kids are rich by buying them dumb. I bought my that. son some beach sand. <laughs> yeah. And you get Sam, the damn. That's how fucking poor you were in Taft. You couldn't even afford sand. No, <laughs> we just dug up the backyard. No. no, rich kids have sand. Poor kids have dirt. There's yeah, a difference. Dirt. There's You're a right. difference. That's You're how. Right. That's how it works. Dirt Make more mud huts. more prevalent than sand, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. yeah sand is what you want. And also stick. I I would argue that a stick is yeah. the oldest. I think it's already in the Toy no. Hall of Fame, it, right? Rock. Oh, is it? Yeah. Rock over stick. I think so. Well, you can do pet rock. You do a lot of things. You can throw a rock. The pet can, rock. You can, yeah. you can yeah. toss a rock back and forth. <laughs> oh, you can put a rock in your butt. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! I think there's. You can, you, you, can lick, you can lick a rock. Uh, <laughs> 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 I think there's never even an yeah, option. Yeah, in 2008. <laughs> The uh, stick was oh. inducted oh, into oh, the oh, National oh, Toy oh, Hall of Fame. Oh, the wind and wow. rock get inducted. Yeah. Uh, oh. Take that sand. Rock and stick are way better than you. I, I rock. say rock gets inducted later. Nope. Like, uh, rock doesn't make the cut till like. Oh, uh, well, rock will be like that holdout. You know, they hold out like Kiss. They'll never put rock in, and people will be like, rock, rock. Rock, rock <laughs> yeah. should have been in here years ago. I'm not seeing it. What about water? Oh, really? Like, nah, dog. Swimming? Yeah, like, like swimming what? in water. Nah. A swimming box, like a sandbox? Uh, a swimming <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's called a pool. <laughs> my dad put water in my swimming box. <laughs> I'm gonna go play in my sand pool. <laughs> How far are we gonna take this, Tom? Are you gonna pitch air next, and it's like a picture of a kid blowing out a candle or something? I mean, yeah, you can. Well, making a fart sound. I mean, there's a lot of things that <laughs> in your mouth. If you have your oh, mouth is a toy. Yeah, yeah your fingers the, are snapping. Is the whoopee cushion in there? Whoopee cushion. Oh yeah, 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 right there. 
Um, All right, you got one more? Oh, I got I got plenty. Uh, okay. We're going to stick uh, local. I know, Tom, you like Miami stories. Uh, Dateline Miami. I don't know if we got to talk about it last time. It was on the docket. I don't know if we got to it. They were going to knock down Al Capone's house. Did we talk about this? Mm, I think we were going to talk about it, but we didn't make it to it. Uh, Al Capone's house, he bought it in Miami in, uh, in 1928 for $40,000. They were going to knock it down. The guy who had bought it and was going to knock it down had bought it for like $10 million or something. Uh, a guy came along and just offered 15.5 uh, to this guy. And, uh, and so he bought Al Capone's house. And uh, the word on the street is he's going to keep it up for now. So uh, they're, they're auctioning I, all the stuff. I've told this story before, but I think they did that, Seth. I yeah, think they that did happened. it right there. Auctioned it. Yeah. My grandfather had oh, uh, or had property. Thing. Now I actually own a piece of it. Uh, mm-hmm. Me and my sister and then a bunch of other people. Um, but it's I still in, I'm a part owner of it. And it's a property. Orlando that, Predators. Yeah, I've heard the story. <laughs> off Loop Road <laughs> that uh, it supposedly, and this is maybe a van tall tale. God damn it. Uh, it there's, in the back of the property, there's concrete steps, right? And <laughs> what my pop-up told me. Oh, and, yeah, and then yeah this is totally my uh, your Native American. <laughs> it was owned by Al Capone, and I was one of the Indian slaves. They hid their money in there. No, yeah. it supposedly And is, I, being a Native American, he hired me. <laughs> the steps to Al Capone's Personal old hideout yeah. in the Everglades. Uh-huh. And there was a newspaper clipping that he owned that uh, I think oh, is man. in his box. Uh, Whose box? Like, I have my pop-up box. Are you going to... Are you going to... Gonna die with a uh, with a shoebox collection alive? <laughs> <laughs> Is that that's how everybody in Florida dies? Yeah, with a shoebox, they open a shoebox of lies. Guys, I, I will say that after my mom died, you know that's the final chapter. Though I dug through her house, nothing but lies. <laughs> That's why I sold everything. Yeah, it's but just, is it lies or is it like uh, misinformation that she? They just wanted me to like them. I realize now <laughs> that my mom and dad just wanted me to like them, and they'd say anything to get me to like them. <laughs> so. If the, if Al Capone's old house sold for that much, I mean, I'm part owner okay. of property with Al Capone's old hideout stairs in the Al back. Capone. You got you to you prove it. There is an article that says uh, there's a possible Al Capone site in the Everglades. Is it off Loop Road? I mean, uh, it, they don't give us a road. Yeah, yeah. I mean, all right. I got a little Loop Road. Okay. It's a loop Road. Look up Loop Road. I need Al to make Capone's a story from my basement in my house. <laughs> okay. Let's come up with a good story of what that can be. I got it. Okay. Because of Loop Road's seclusion and penchant for inspiring rumors and tall tales of all types, <laughs> perhaps the most famous and persistent one is that Al Capone owned a speakeasy and gambling den in Pinecrest during the Prohibition era. Here's this the is, steps. I found the steps. This establishment no. was allegedly that's run it. by that's a, a That's relative. a property I own. Although it is so, no, are you being serious? We, yeah. yeah, no. That's yeah. A, that, Although and it, we stand, okay, every, the ready? whole family would stand there with guns. <laughs> okay, you ready? Because <laughs> our real right white trash. Here you go. Although it is known that Al Capone favored the Florida weather in 1928, purchased a vacation home on Palm Island located in Miami, there is absolutely no proof of his mm. involvement on Loop Road. The ru- it is a rumor and only a rumor. It's the rumor it. is that the property burned down in 1928, and today the front steps are all that remain. Dude, <laughs> that's still a story. That still uh, can, somebody would buy that just of the story alone. I, 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 maybe I can make it into an Airbnb uh, right behind the steps. I, like uh, yeah. I put a trailer. <laughs> <for the> trailer. <laughs> like, okay, by reading this article, you know what it sounds like. It sounds like put a trailer behind. Dude, the did steps. you go look back in those woods? I like, can dig up. You probably find. Oh, some you probably shit find Al Capone's fedora. No. <laughs> Find <laughs> something. You I find something. I told Tom this. I want to get back there with the let's metal detector. Let's go with the detector. metal detector. Yes. Oh, let's go over there. We find some pants like a moonraker. Please I'll let my the bros gran- go Jackson's with a metal detector. I'll get my grandfather's uh, back home. We'll scrape yeah. the shit up and we'll look. We'll, we'll borrow your truck. It's There's nothing. I'll borrow your truck. <laughs> There's nothing. <laughs> we'll bring my so, boat and go out in Miami as we're down there. It looks like this is story. Is alive or is he rolling over in his grave right now? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, basically, the story, Ross. It looks as if the people that lived on Loop Road like were so bored that they just lied about all the. I'm serious. To make it interesting. It sounds uh, like they, it, it's very old Florida and that, that this was a secluded area. So they just made up a bunch of tall tales. Like they, apparently every gangster had a, a, a uh, hideout. hideout on Loop Road. Well, Deep I mean. in the Everglades is Lost City, a place where mobster Al Capone reportedly re- produced moonshine to keep a nearby saloon jumping in the 1930s. That's what my pop-up told me. He's like, this is Al Capone's old steps. I'm like, <laughs> really? He's like, yes, 100%. How does he know? I would try to monetize that somehow. Right. Your, I swear on your Cherokee grandma. <laughs> right, <party>. exactly. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. If I'm lying, then I will not be the chief. What if I, what if I'm able to... Uh, 
pull the steps out, and then I'll take it, and then... Well, now you're I, just stealing. Oh, yeah, <laughs> no, no, well, I own the property. It's property. I mean, me and, like, a bunch of other people <laughs> with a goddamn mess. But uh, anyway, I take the steps out, and I put, like, make some sort of exhibit out, like uh, the Titanic... Look, these <laughs> are steps. <laughs> no. <laughs> Look at these steps that may or may not, probably not, <laughs> owned by Al Capone. <laughs> Many well, that's a why it's just sitting there. Nothing, no yeah. one cares. Many a Walmart family is posed with a series of there. shotguns. You need these. to go exploring back there for sure. There's a bunch of mosquitoes and oh, snakes. You put, you put a big, a whole bunch of rubber suit on. Well, you're not going to find nothing back but there. Bullshit. Also, you might my, find something. No, my pop-up found nothing. an old car, but they shot it there all up. There you go. Shot it. Oh, they shot it up recently. No, this is along in the 70s when they bought the property there was an old like uh car and they said it was Al Capone's car look, look <laughs> and then they were like in the 70s, like like, 70s, 70s. <laughs> who owned this car who was famous in the 70s you know they just think yeah. of whomever they looked listen uh, if i know my family and uh, all my dad's for they all look back there didn't find shit Anyway, this property was such a piece of shit. Al Capone said, I'm going to go back to Chicago and take my chances with Elliot Ness. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so, but I mean, the, obviously, the, if it is truly Al, Al Capone, like, what if I can prove it? I mean, then, then you're good. Is That's it then saying. is it worth something more? You could probably sell it to like a, a historical, some kind of yeah. archaeology. Yeah. Kind I would like, I would sell it in chunks like rocks, like pet rocks. I would ship or make it like, <laughs> no, like make a, it a like store like Berlin site. Wall. Yeah, like ten thousand dollars a chunk. Yeah. Uh, wow. Well, yeah. There's a lot of people like weighing in on the the thing that this twelve years ago a guy says. Uh, my name is Charles. I was raised on Loop Road at Gator Hook Lodge. My family's from that's that my, area. That's my pop up owned that Gator bar. Hook Lodge. Um, they remember the Gator Hook shirt. Then he would have known your grandpa. He said, "I was a kid in the '60s. We hunted for artic- art- artifacts in and around the old Capone place. Uh. We found a lot of old bottles that we sold." Um, but that's all we ever find. Pinecrest was the oldest established area in the Loop area. As a result, most people think that everything on Loop is in Pinecrest. Not so. Gator Hook was four miles east. This guy's kind of claiming that, yes, maybe Capone was in that area, and these people knew it, and just to make things more popular, they just said, yeah, yeah, it was around here, it was around yeah. here. He probably took a piss It's like the work. owner of Gator Hook Lodge was my pop-up, who <laughs> said, uh, told me the legend. I like how he's filling people uh, full of lies. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, bring people to the fucking Loop Road, which, um, by the way, it uh, now has probably like twenty five different houses oh. on uh, the on the beginning of it. They're all from Mikasuki uh, gambling. This money, is a good one in case money. any of our listeners are listening. One guy on this this thread. This is a good one to say. He actually says you should not be picking around there. The people don't like you uh, poking around out there, and they will shoot. And Jesus. this guy's saying they will shoot anyone on their property that they do not recognize. <laughs> it's a completely different uh, era that they live in. <laughs> Whatever. I'm they will water. shoot. They will shoot and say, "I'm drunk. You the bear. Get off my land." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's a rough. Uh, you know, the yeah. Everglades people. It's a uh, little yeah. more do it yourself. Al- although yeah. the original Ever- Everglades people, I don't think are alive anymore. Like my pop up and all his friends that owned the property down yeah. there. But I don't know. Uh, anyway, interesting. Like, got a last story, Ross. All right, uh, last story. I know recently you guys probably heard the headline uh, that Orlando is like the 15th most rat infested city in the in the <laughs> no. US. Yeah, I saw that. that I, damn I didn't it, see that. Two more stories. Weird. Got, According to like Terminex or somebody, they uh, they, uh, they they did a they did a accounting of like all their call logs, and so they ranked by that. I think it's like I think Tampa Bay is like 14, and then we're 15th. But uh, we got nothing on Rome. Rome right now, they got a problem. Uh, they got wild animals in the streets. Dan, imagine you go out, it's trash day, you're going to put your trash out, and a pack of 10 to 30 wild boars come at you. Uh, Rome is surrounded by giant parks, and they estimate in these parks there's thousands of boars, hundreds of which run into the city of Rome at night and uh, and root through trash and shit, basically. And uh, yeah, they are attacking people. Are right now, them? Rome attacked by boars in the street. I want the boars to get into the Vatican because if there's one <laughs> thing I'd like to see, it's tusk on robe. <laughs> I want to see some Jeez. good tusk on robe crime where they're tearing them down and just shredding their robes, that, knocking over the candles. Did you did Swiss you, Guard versus Wild Boars. That's, that's a hell of a That's also a they decent, got the axe with them. decent video game. There was a documentary called uh, Pig Bomb, 
and it was about yeah, yeah. like invasive pigs in uh, the the south of yes. Florida, like all of Florida and Texas or whatever. And apparently they're like horrible for our native environment, and they're invasive, they are. and they root up shit, and they like fuck up a bunch of land and mm. farmland and stuff. So I mean, in Texas, oh. they'll I mean, you can go pig hunting from a helicopter. Um, it became like a tourism thing where they. You know they'll take you up on a helicopter and then you get a machine gun and you're just Gatling shooting gun, yeah, yeah, you're just shooting Christ. pigs or whatever. And th- remember that's uh, when earlier on uh, on a corporate time um, there was a uh, there was a an issue. I know this issue. What? Oh, I, yeah, yeah, it was with a sponsor. I will yeah. say that. So <laughs> a sponsor sponsored a radio station and the radio station was given the same word a bunch. <laughs> <laughs> it was a big it was a bigger sponsor but they spon- they had their logo on a radio station's website and the radio station was giving away free tickets to get on a helicopter and machine gun some pigs right and then PETA got involved, and PETA's got an army of people. They know how to affect a business, especially like a, a radio show or whatever. Yeah. They just attacked every sponsor, and like the, you know, and then yeah. it and co- they got boots on the ground. It man. put so much pressure, on, like they shut it all down. Um, but then the uh, the actual sponsor was gun shy about advertising uh, with any radio show after that for like three months. Because of this shit, um, makes sense. But it's like these this invasive species that's ruining the land, and uh, they're not they're not supposed to be there. Yeah, a lot I, of people don't think that. Yeah, like, how did how did you? I wife's, get that, but there's got to be a more humane. How's way your wife? I mean, because you're, you're not because you're not hitting them all and not killing them. They're gonna sit there and suffer if you hit them in the leg and the shoulder. Crystal feels the same way as Seth, right? Yeah, that's like, awful. She wouldn't want them gunned down. Like, I, I don't I don't mind you disposing of them humanely somehow and using maybe the meat for something, but like just shooting them from above, that just seems kind of like. That just seems for the fun of you're taking like the whole point of it. I think. Oh, so it's know. easier to shoot them from up high than it is <laughs> well, to walk through the they woods are, and they track them. Of, of course, yeah, yeah, and that's the funnest way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's where you fun make the money. People. And it's I easier to get the like, launch in a helicopter. Yeah, like, let's put out a bunch of poison, and then they'll oh, die. Oh, we killed a child. <laughs> uh oh. Yeah, yeah. I uh, no, I understand. Yeah. Like it's when it's you. It's a numbers game, Seth. It really I get is it. A numbers but if you if you can guarantee that you're killing them as you're shooting them, then fine. But you're not. You're 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 blasting their half their legs off, and they're just well, they'll die. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, eventually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it does seem. You know and that's what? We problem. should fly a helicopter and rain sickles out on them. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Should just drop my weapons. It, it, it's uh, they're in a tough situation because like they're trying to like we need to kill as many as possible, yeah. and we're trying to monetize. At one point, uh, you just have to look at it and turn your uh, away from the other side of it yeah, and yeah. just go all in. Because the only way to stop this <laughs> in Rome is to just try to eradicate them, right? Because I, apparently, the, the reason why they're so bad is they'll eat basically anything and they reproduce like crazy and that's like with rabbits and other things like that and that's like me and when uh when that when that's the case and they have unlimited food supp- supply and they're reproducing faster than you could kill them uh, it becomes a huge problem mm-hmm. there's uh, attacking people and stuff um i and the only way to really handle it is to kill as many as you can right uh, yeah, gotta I mean, catch them all. Kill them all. <laughs> it's not like, I mean, kill them. And let God sort them out. Yeah. Um, all right, yeah, the boars are refusing offers for apartments and jobs at this point. So <laughs> yeah. be Who isn't, man? I'm holding out. Didn't some Only boars. a famous person or an influencer or someone famous just got attacked by a wild boar recently? And I think it was. I think it, it was, was a female, right? I think yes. It was, Who yeah. was Magician that? Doug Henning. <laughs> Who are, You're not talking about the thing from the fire festival, right? Where the girls were getting bit no, by the pig. No, 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 okay. no. It was like a supermodel or an actress. Or yeah, something the, recently I saw on the news they're like, uh, See, so that's and, funny. So and so got attacked. Well, Shakira by, did apparently. Shakira, that's what it is, Shakira. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, Shakira, Shakira, and she was in Europe or something, right? Uh, or, um, let me see. Like uh, she was at the Vatican. <laughs> she was. Oh my God. Lives. And she was out for a walk with her kid. Um, dude, oh, I'm oh, just gonna walk around the Vatican. Oh my God! <laughs> my pop up. Wee, wee, wee. He used to tell me a lot of things. <laughs> One was that uh, I like Shakira. They like, were visiting a park. Like he would walk through the Everglades, and he Shakira! said, "Yeah, if a <laughs> where are you?" <laughs> and he said, "If you come across a wild boar and it's like piglets or whatever, it'll come, it'll attack you, kind of like a bear or whatever yeah, to yeah. Uh, protect its young. Like a it bear, seems like really easy to and, get away from a boar. Like, no, I'm they're grab fast. They are fast. They're, they're fast. fast. Oh, they'll they'll gore. The so is my right hand. They'll gore your legs <laughs> with yeah. the tusks." They're gonna Gonna gore your cat. I know how to sprawl. A That's how King sprawl. Baratheon died. And he also he and this is another is. urban legend that he told me. He <laughs> oh said that a, go, a wild boar was attacking him. He pulled his three fifty seven out because he carried that with him, and he shot it in the head, and it still it didn't stop him. 
Uh, and then it and it kept help me, Al Capone. <laughs> <laughs> the ghost of Al Capone, I command you. And he said he had to climb a tree. Uh, no, no, oh my God, that's, that's, that's your fucking... whole childhood is lies. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of believable. That's you... goddamn old Yeller. <laughs> <laughs> Are you so the kid, around? The you kid got going. How did he had to climb away? a tree to get away. How did he get away? He said his friends came and shot it or whatever. Uh, and then then he his said friends they, the Indians came. And and then he said they stomped the baby. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh. I was like, I, I was oh like seven God. years old. <laughs> <Jesus Christ. laughs> I was like, Why what do you want for you? dinner, Mac and Cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I'm watching it for your mom. We're gonna watch HBO boxing. <laughs> He was a uh, hard man. Um, so, All right. Well, great job, Ross. Yeah. That was awesome. Yeah, I'm going to scratch two news stories I can't do next week off my list. <laughs> oh, 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 you can look up two more. Come on. No, that's th- six minutes I can't get back. That's right. You'll get it back. You and EJ step it up a little yeah. bit. Ross, he's fine. He does yeah. a great job. Yeah, I got, fucking, I got 20 more minutes I could do. You need to You need to do more conditioning, Seth. Hey, that's Seth. Uh, <laughs> to almost anything in life. You need to do some more conditioning. How, so, many, um, how many? Who's on the show this week, Ross? Uh, what did we just recorded one with uh, Ian Aver? You might remember from uh, Orlando Indie Comedy Fest visits. Uh, a lot of fun. I love it. Atlanta awesome. comic Ian Aver. And oh, actually, uh, if you guys are listening right now, uh, tomorrow night, Saturday, I'll be in Daytona for Sareth Fest at the Tiernanog. I think uh, I think that show kicks off at 9 p.m. But get to the Tiernanog early. It's a small venue, so uh, come out and see me at Sareth Fest uh, tonight and tomorrow. I think is the wrap up of the festival. A uh, bunch of good com- comics from Florida. And I think you brought some uh, some people from Colorado over too for this. So it's been yeah. a lot of fun. I thought you said Sabret Fest. Yeah. And I thought it was a Sarat. hot dog festival. <laughs> 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 hot dog <laughs> festival. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, oh, that sounds awesome. No, uh, uh, tell Sarah if we said hello because uh, I haven't seen we'll that. I haven't seen that guy in a minute. Or Wu Man, Wu Man Fu, or Fu Man. What is his uh, his superhero name? Wu Man Chu. Wu Man Chu. Yeah, give Wu uh, some love from us. Uh, be good, man. We'll see you in a bit. All right, guys, see you. Later, man. Be good. That is Ross, live from the art gallery. <laughs> um, all right, let's take a break. Uh-huh. Uh, when we come back, uh, we get a guest, and uh, I'm glad Seth's uh, here to see this. Well, I was going to leave. Why would uh, Well, because it involves um, shitting out of a helicopter. Oh, yeah. I saw that. He's <laughs> yeah. my hero. Yeah. Okay, okay. So we're going to talk about hero. Hero. Well, because uh, Butler thinks it's not real. Yeah, we're yeah. we're going to talk. He's skeptical. The... Wait, is it him that's calling in? Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, I don't cool. even know what it is. I don't even know what it is. <laughs> is that not cool? I Ooh. like that. It's cool. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> oh, that was fucking good. awesome. All right. Uh, Paul and <laughs> Brand new music from Laura Jane Grace. This is Lolo 13. Great song. We'll be back with more Media Over Time with Tom and Dan. one 844 Show at TomandDan.com for last minute emails. Bye-bye. I asked for your name three times. Just to make sure that I heard it right You told me <sighs> Welcome back to a mediocre time with Tom and Dan. I am Dan. I'm Tom. <clears throat> So Seth, why does everybody hate you? Yeah, why does everybody <laughs> hate you? Why does everybody uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. hate you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My God, I don't think I did anything wrong. You're right? ruining the it's show. Very sweet to everybody. I'm nice. I don't know. I, I don't get it. Maybe it's uh, you know, I found out a long time ago. You uh, you tell people you have money, and then they I don't say it. I never say that. Oh my you God. say that. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Calm down. Well, I know that didn't sound defensive. Sorry. Well, I because <laughs> I don't. I literally have never mentioned that once in my life. Yeah, yeah. No, I go back I, on all the all the recordings. Never once. Oh God, yeah, that also sounds like you're. Out. Whenever you go pull the tape, boat. whenever people start that's yelling, pull the up. tape. That's a bad move. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm saying it, but that's that's why they. I mean, that could be a reason that they hate you. They're like, oh, look at this guy, he got a bunch of money, which I don't understand. That's Jealousy. like, oh, yeah, what's a, what yeah. is that? A, or uh, you know, like he's got a young girl. I think they're very acrimonious that I have such getting a large mm. boat. Or it could uh, just be. I don't know what acrimonious means. I, I, I don't have time <laughs> to look it up. What line? No line. I think oh. they gave you the wrong number because uh, it rang once and then it said that they have no uh, mailbox set up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and he I did, love that. He did give me another number okay. that maybe it looks exactly the same. Uh, what? <laughs> so it's the, they gave you the same number twice? Um. Yeah, that's the same number they gave me. I'll try oh. again. But... Oh. Just make sure that's a... Uh, oh. 
Well, why we go for that? This is Cooper's Mark uh, Monster Smash cocktail. It's why are you a- doing a DJ voice? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. why we go for that? <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Well, well <laughs> why we go for that? Let me step in here and tell you about the Raspberry Smash. Everybody, welcome back here, rocking with the butler on W Monster Smash. Hey, right now, I uh, muddled up some raspberries in here. Coming up next, we got a brand new music from Rob Thomas. You know, he's got a brand new Christmas album out. Here's his brand new single called All the Snow is Falling. You're listening to W. Butler, Freak Out Radio. So, uh, TDABC, who, uh, what is this now? (laughs) (laughs) What? What? It's a uh, Cooper's Mark Monster Smash. So I added, uh, it's a raspberry. Shouldn't it be a mediocre smash? A monster smash? That's what the last (laughs) one. What the fuck are you doing? There it is. (laughs) Look at this guy. What the fuck is he doing? (laughs) He's fucking with me. He's fucking with me. He's like, we're Just like the other day when he uh, came here a little late. He said, made a comment. Oh, that pissed Dan (laughs) off. You were were close to being fired. This motherfucker's late every day. I had to calm him down. This motherfucker's late (laughs) every day. Every day, and then I come in and I look at the clock, and he's like, "All right, Sam, I'm gonna move everything." You know, we had a thing here at eleven. I'm like, "It's ten fifteen eight, motherfucker." He chopped you. That's what a chopper does. He chopped does. me good. When the owner and boss comes in, he's like, "Hey, what time's time to take Where have you guys been, you idiot? <laughs> what the fuck is happening right now?" Ah, oh, that was all. That was all. Okay. Awesome. You know. Maybe text him to call us because that phone number's not working. Yeah. No, okay. I figured that. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah, j- man, of course. You got hoodwinked. Uh, well, no, I think it's uh, two times. Uh, <laughs> you want to uh, shit? We'll just jump in and uh, dump him out. We'll just we'll just start going to right. go. Right, and then if he calls, he calls. If he doesn't, he doesn't. I mean, that's fine. Seth wants to get the I, fuck I, out of here. I gotta now. go there, yes. <laughs> okay, He's like, yeah. oh, I don't get to talk to Busey. Get out of here. <laughs> you don't want. You, what were you gonna ask? Me? What was your inspiration? Your inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> we got too many topics on the list today. It's the end of the motherfucking show. So come on, baby, let's dump them out and play. I wanna see your topics. Ooh, I wanna also see your bottom mix. <laughs> Dump them out, brought to you by, uh, let's say, all our T&D watering holes, including Ravenous Pig. If you go by Ravenous Pig's beer garden, ask for a uh, BDM pen. It's free, and it lets them know that uh, we sent you. So, our background's uh, all screwed up on the screen here. Also, Hourglass Brewing, and there's a ton of other watering holes. So check them out. They all have giveaways, and just let them know Tom and Dan sent you. Uh, send us a picture, too, on social media. That helps. We do uh, enjoy that. We enjoy you guys uh, holding us accountable for our clients because we love those relationships. We love our clients. We love our watering holes. So let us know if you drop by. Um, first story. We don't have a ton this week. It was like no. things went pretty smooth this week. Not a ton of, uh, not a ton of BS. Oh, are you getting hey. texts? Oh, no, no. Hey, Mike. Hey, it's Miguel. I got Mike right over here. Okay, hold on. Let me give you the studio line because this is my... Okay. Uh, what is it? Just text it. one 844 Yeah, 844. Hold up. Hold up. I got to write this down. I like this. That's old school. <laughs> Oh, we got to know the numbers. I know. 844 866 6326. 6326. 6326. You got it. We'll call you right back. All right. There you go. It's a mess. I like this. It's a very old school. I like how relaxed. And yes, I did. I picked relaxed tunes for today. Somebody noticed in the chat room. Yeah, I was thinking of you, Butler. You always send me like chill tunes. Butler's like the king of like smoke tunes, you know, like toot toot. Put this track on. And uh, yeah, I played some chill stuff this week. Um, Before BC calls in, what's the uh, Wonder Years? Oh, so I watched the Wonder (laughs) Years. I've been asking this question on our show, I think since we started the show. I I tell this story. You guys will know it. Somebody will know this story. I tell about my coach, the black guy that used to yell at the the kids. He you smell yourself, boy. Yeah. Remember that? Uh And I do the impression of him. You smell yourself, boy. I said, what is your smell yourself, boy? Dude, there's a character in the show. The coach says, you smell yourself, boy. I stood up out of bed, paused the fucking show. I look at Andrea, and they explain, it's Don Cheadle's, the the narrator. Yeah, yeah. And he explains what it means, and it means that you are of an age where you need to wear deodorant, and you are a man, and you get body odor. So, and I'm like, God damn it, that's all you had to say. Thank you, Wonder Years. I've been waiting, like, honestly, I've been waiting like 35 years to know what the fuck that means. So mm. was it a popular 
thing must to say at that time. Yep. And, and so this, a bunch of this people. show was set in the 60s. It must have been a 60s generational thing that translated to this coach I got. He was an older black guy. Totally made sense. Totally made sense. Did you know anybody that showered in... Um, I, oh, I got the old oh, nice calling me back. Was <laughs> calling your cell phone back? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh I like this. This is old too. One eight four four. Make sure he puts the one. Yep. Yes. Uh, you. Company and it's asked us for an extension. <laughs> so no. I think yeah, yeah. Maybe you have to put a one before. Uh, yeah, the eight four four. You have to put a one. One eight four four. And then try that. I because you told me the right number, so it should come through. Okay. Uh, I mean, he doesn't strike, what is happening he doesn't strike they gave me us, as a, They gave us the no, wrong number. Hold, now they can't hold on, call us? Miguel does not strike me as a, I'm just hearing this one thing guy. <laughs> you, you don't right? have to put the one, right? I, I didn't think so. Think so but but yeah, phones no. are hard. I will say I, <laughs> I always not. put the one. I'm a one guy. <laughs> I do you anyway just in one. case, but you don't need it. Are you a one guy? I'm a one guy, but you don't have to do it. No, I'm not a one guy. You don't have to put the one. Sam, are you a one gal? No. All right. You dial one if you're dialing international. They put the. They wrote down the wrong number, right? And this is never going to work. How did they get anything done over there at the Sausage Castle? They can't even call somebody. Oh, wait. We got him. Oh, okay. All right, hey, uh, I'll just pick it up. Oh, okay. What line? Line two. Line two. Okay. Oh, oh shit. He's Hold there. On. He's there. There he is. All right, there you go. Mike, are you there? Yes, sir. Hey, Hi. what's going on? Hi. Hi. All right. All right, Mike. So um, let's rewind a little bit. Uh, you sent me a text. I believe <laughs> I it was. I think you got the uncut. You got it. <laughs> you got it before it hit the home box office. It was. Too hot shit. Last week, yeah. Tom, Tom got it fresh out the studio. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I got Monday, September twenty seventh is when I got the first video, and um, I I talked about a little bit on the show on a BDM show, and um, let's uh, let's describe how this even came about, and because I don't know, Mike, if you've experienced this, because obviously Barstool Sports picked it up, and there's lots of comments about it, but. Uh, our sales guy doesn't believe that it's legitimate or real. He thinks it's a uh, like some sort of stunt poop or hose or bottle yeah, no, that you I, squeeze. I believe that Butler thinks that it's a hose, and you have one of your uh, yeah. one of your uh, your lackeys on the property. You know, you get the guy <laughs> that you get the guy that washes out your scrambler <laughs> to blow on the hose and blow like uh, brown fabricated water. brown water out the end of the hose. Right? Uh, That's what you think, Butler. Yeah. Well, man. whoever the fuck your sales guy is, he's obviously obviously not a member of MyBeach.com because me and Fecal have had a long shitty relationship. So <laughs> I am no stranger. To the brown, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I do. You know and, what? Uh, I absolutely know. I, what you said, mean. I defended you, Mike. I said uh, Mike Busey does not fake shitting. <laughs> he does and it he legitimately. Said, he said it in like I, a chicken well, yeah. accent. <laughs> Mike Busey does not fake shitting. <laughs> I've been waffle stomping at least once a week, and and oh, my oh, bowels right. are very very. Yeah, so. I like how Seth's like, Dad, <laughs> is that That's you? That's awesome. So, uh, Mike, uh, how? Get in the shower. Shitting in the shower saves half an hour. I've been waffle stomping. I don't know if you've ever shit on another man's grown, another grown man's chest, or have had fecal fights. But yeah, uh, me and fecal, we've you know we've we've made a career. I've, I've built a, I've, I've paid a lot of bills on some some poo. Oh, so. God. All right, all right. <laughs> fecal, fe- fecal fights is a thing. Actually. So Mike, how did this? Ha- now this is an, uh, and I'll give you a quick synopsis, and then I want to know the behind the scenes because I want to know about the helicopter pilot. I want to know about. Did you have to get some sort of permission? I or? hope it was an old man. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the oh, video- it was. It was a very gentle old uh, man from Medico. <laughs> uh, I would like to. He was a very very nice pilot. And he definitely wants to remain anonymous <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. So, for his career reasons. So, and uh, my buddy Tim Valley, he was going on a, a romantic uh, uh, flight over Los Angeles. And I saw that the pilot was pretty cool. He was, like, letting him drink and smoke and stuff. And I saw him dangling his feet out the helicopter. And I was like, man, that'd be, that's, a, that's a really, really cool pilot. Maybe, maybe he'll let me shit on the Hollywood sign. That's your first thought? <laughs> that's your first thought. I like that, Mike. Mike, I like that. I like that the first thought was, Moe, that's a cool helicopter pilot. I wonder yeah, if you no, let me shit on real, something real with my story, tr- True story. I love it. Yeah, I, I seen it, and I was like, I, I actually like, was like frustrated. Like, what a, he wasted a really good opportunity to like, at first I was like, he could have peed on it. And I was like, no, it would be better if he shitted on it. 
and then at, at up, three man. in the morning, I bought four flights to Los Angeles, California, didn't go to sleep, showed up, and then we strategized. I had like eight camera guys up in the, uh, the hills of Hollywood hiding out because you can only get so close to it before, you know, they arrest you. And they have like a loudspeaker, and the LAPD is like talking to you over it. Stop we had to, like, shitting <laughs> on our yeah, this, side. This was like some uh, what's that casino movie where they robbed the? Uh, it's like an Ocean Eleven shit. I hope like, the movie's strategy. called Casino. Heat, still team shit type of production. You know, like we didn't have much time. We just did. We pulled it out last minute. What do you eat and, to prepare? Uh, yeah, I mean, so Mike, now taco, I, I was drinking Taco Bell. I was mm. drinking mm. fucking Dunkin' Donut coffee lattes, which I don't even drink coffee. Yeah, the coffee will I mean, do it. Uh, the coffee does it yeah, to me. I, I was literally squirting like uh, the the fucking hot sauce packets down my mouth, and I, I had you know I was I've been shitting on things for a while. This is the first thing I've shitted on, so. You gotta like kind of do some of your shit search and check out. You know, I've had a long, long, long shitty career of poo- pooping on things. So, but I had, I didn't. I, to be honest with you, when I got to the helicopter, I didn't realize how small it was. It looked way bigger in the photos. Uh, and <laughs> so I got some I shit on the helicopter. Well, you're yeah, you're, Were Mike, you you're nervous. A, you're, you're a big, big man. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, it was probably it's definitely one of the dumbest, stupidest things I ever did because like I had no safety harness and I got completely out of a helicopter. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the, the video itself. Yeah. I just seen y'all probably like a week before it actually dropped in other uh, social media networks, which y'all definitely had uh, the first strike at it. But you did pass it up. It's cool. No big deal. Um, oh, I don't Tom. think Tom knew you wanted us to yeah. share that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you don't, Busey, yeah, you Tom don't tell me. Know. Tom just said, like, he's like, oh, my God, what the <laughs> fuck is this? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, yeah, yeah. Busey, I'm not in the same, uh, you know, the mindset that you are. You're you're a pure entertainer. We like, could have spread it before Barstool. I'm, yeah. I, I'm just a, a stressed out small Y'all business owner. You had the gum shoes and you, you, you fucked up. You had the scoop and you just. You passed up on the poop scoop. I was trying to give y'all the poop scoop right away, but y'all passed it up. Well, because I, uh, you know what, Tom? I was Tom's kind of a pussy. <laughs> He's a pussy. You I, know, you need to do business with me, the real <laughs> big dick dentist over here. This guy's a fucking pussy. Yeah, so He's always been a pussy, cold. and I'm unhitching my wagon. <laughs> Can you send anything shit related to me, too? Because I just want to laugh. Well, so, Mike, I, did you tell the, uh, the gentle... Uh, Spanish helicopter pilot about the plan? Oh, did you did you have a conference with them beforehand? Well, or? Dude, did you well, jump on Elvis? It's crazy. <laughs> the the story is much more complex to be honest with you, but I know you don't got much time. But no, 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 take no your time. Yeah, take go it for it. We own it. Yeah, so we came in on a on, on a Thursday and literally went straight to work and then filmed all this stuff. I paid all these camera guys and. We were there uh, also filming a, a TV show called Vet TV that I was doing a cameo on. Cool. So I was like, I didn't really want to go to California just to do that. So I, that was my motivation factor. I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to go shit on Hollywood. And uh, that I did. But, but the first day we got there, the, the guy, he, he got cold feet and he, and he backed out on me. And I, had, I lost, like, you know, probably a couple thousand dollars on paying people because I couldn't just not pay them even right. though they didn't get the footage and stuff. And then the sad part is I probably spent like $4,000 doing the whole thing. <laughs> Fucking the only footage that was worth the fuck was the damn GoPros and some of the stuff I filmed on my iPhone. So I had like a whole team of guys that. Oh, no, you did a Tom and Dan event. So you did. You went through with it. You paid everybody. Yeah. But then when you got all the footage back, you started digging through it. You're like, was everybody drunk here? <laughs> well, also. Yeah, oh, no, you should have you seen the group chat. It was like it was like a. Like I said, a poutine six like production, and I was like, "All right, guys, you're everyone in place," and and there's you get bad service up in the hills of Hollywood, and so we were like logistically having to do it right before sundown, and this guy like takes people out like couples for romantic little fucking getaways, and and the first the first thing I had a problem with was I was actually too fat to be where I was sitting at in the helicopter, so we had to like basically he flaked out on me the first day and cost me a bunch of money and i was like really bummed out because you know I, I get into these little we're gonna do this come higher hell water and when i get my mind set on things i, ch- I try to follow through so I, I felt like i really was disappointing myself and my followers because i had kind of hinted to what i was doing and, and kind of left it up in the air because I, I didn't want everyone to know what i did until i 
safely returned back to the state of Florida. Um, so, yeah, I, I didn't know the helicopter was that small, and I'm way too big. And then my camera guy, he's a little thick, too. And uh, he, he, the two of us, we couldn't um, get in. So some other, uh, some cool Asian dude, I guess he's some famous YouTuber, that I had never even met. Real Alex Cho, 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 Choi? Alex Choi. He has, like, a bunch of fancy cars or something. Yeah. He, we just met right there on the helipad. Next thing you know, I'm having to, like, basically sit on his lap. And he, he and he's, like, the size of, like, my, my right leg. And next thing you know, I'm pulling my pants off. And he's, like, kind of very quiet and shy. Like, oh, what, 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 are you, what are you doing? <laughs> and you can feel the helicopter, like, the, 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 the helicopter's literally, like, uh, shifting as I move. Oh. It's not a, a very big Don't helicopter. Don't fuck <laughs> <laughs> so so basically, I, I I I was playing with very dangerous uh, stuff, and and then I was like, yeah, he's like, what are you gonna do with the American flag? And I was like, oh, I'm gonna hoist it out and hold on to it. And then the pilot looked at me and he was like, well, listen, my friend, if you if you let go of the heli- the flag, it goes into the rotors, we we die. I was like, All right, <laughs> that's, that's extra extra tight. And I had no safety harness, no seatbelt. If you watch the video, I actually get out of the helicopter and hang on from the skids, which was probably the stupidest thing I ever did. Uh, I, I was going to uh, yeah, I was going to say, why I did you go? That there was I, uh, Mike. I when thought I, you were belted in pretty good, and then they yeah. just positioned your ass, and then I actually, man, I would have gone as far as to super glue that fucking flag into my hand. <laughs> and yeah, uh, I, it was very stressful. It's loud, and you got to be quick. And then, then the the the, 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 mo- the most stressful part is. Having to like, because I, I mean, I shit myself last night. I, I have very, you know, loud, loose bowels. So I was like worried that I was, like <laughs> like going was on out. a helicopter. <laughs> yeah, and then the, that was, honestly, that was the most stressful part is making sure all my camera guys were in place and then making sure that I was going to be able to perform at the right time. Because I'm like holding, I have like this headset on these comms. And the there. pilot's like, go now, now. We're over shit. The <laughs> and, <laughs> and, and I'm shit, trying man. to push. Push and it I out, big Elvis! <laughs> Bro, you're a legend. That's I awesome. Push me thing out the first like three times. So finally, on the fourth uh, pass over the sign is when I was actually able to project out diarrhea all over <laughs> myself, the, the skids, my boots, and the Hollywood sign. And I hope the pilot definitely- screamed "Hasta <laughs> la vista" or something. Like that. I wanted to <laughs> yell something. Yeah. Did your giant balls get in the way of your shit flying out of your ass? Yeah. What about your balls? I was really nervous. It felt like I was up there for like an hour but i was only up there for like 15 minutes like the whole flight was only 15 minutes long and uh i tipped them very very well and uh, i definitely uh, clean the shit off his cup cup. what did your girlfriend yeah. think of this man like she don't want you up there about like shitting and falling to your death yes yeah, i uh she was she was supporting it she was definitely like hey baby go have fun go shit in hollywood and, and don't you know you know Come back, come back alive. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hey, she's not like, like the crow. Yeah, the crow woman. won't even yeah. let me go to goddamn Publix yeah. to get some yeah. white claw. <laughs> yeah, you can't even one wheel to Publix to get white claw. He's getting blowjobs and get shit out of any hel- helicopter he so, wants. So, Mike, I will be honest. Yeah. When, when I saw the video and we talked about it, and I am uh, foolish for not. Uh, we yeah. could have uh, had it. We could have scooped it. We could have uh, we showed had it everybody. All just like bogey and become. And but I but then I I didn't even know if he wanted me to share it because I was like, is this a personal? Like yeah. uh, I thought it was like a wedding. <laughs> yeah, I, don't, I, don't, I don't spend thousands of dollars on a, on a on a Hollywood production just to text my friends a cute little video. Well, I don't. Know. It was, it was the That's people, what we so. do because we're embarrassed of ourselves. <laughs> and, and then I saw Barstool Sports picked it up. Um, because my thought being, well, that's huge. You you shit diarrhea out of a helicopter, like a lot of platforms, uh, like you know, won't let you show that. Yeah, like, that's Twitch not a MSNBC. <laughs> yeah, no, you're not gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So then maybe I'm, Drudge. I'm like, I think you could get on Drudge. Yeah, like how do? You, and then when Barstool Sports picked it up, like how do you send that to them? Do you know someone on the inside that puts that out there? Because uh, all those people like follow me, like the like all these like. Reporters, they follow me and they see my stuff, and other like Vice people and people that work at TMZ, and so like TMZ wanted. To, actually, I'm sorry, the New York Post wanted to uh, run the story, and one of their editors, um, he was like hitting me up, like, "Hey, we want the exclusive." Da da da. And I think it's like funny because I'm still like thinking, all right, this is kind of like juvenile. Like, 
and he got all these grown adults like fighting over who wants to break it. <laughs> and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's like, a, we want to run, run it on Sunday, and we want to run it. We want to run it on paper, and we want to run uh, the story online. And but we're gonna have the exclusive, and then when it goes up the chain of command, like they're like, well. You didn't get arrested, so we're not going to run it. And I'm like, well, that was the fucking point, not to get arrested. I could have just walked up there and shit on it and get arrested. I was trying to make a, a, a safe getaway, you know. So, you know, you know, Hollywood people, you know, they fucking, they pick and choose what's cool and what's not. And that's part of the reason why I said, fuck it, I'm going to shit on them. So, so did, I like it. Now that you have video of that, is that, like, illegal in any way? Like, uh... Yeah, I mean, could they well, come back and try to get whoa, you? Whoa, hey, hey, Your Honor, Your Honor, Your Honor, my client would, would like to uh, exercise his right to shut the fuck up. Good Bernie Mac. I definitely <laughs> talked to my lawyers, and they said uh, that I was at least looking at a misdemeanor. But uh, I, what I was really more concerned about, I wasn't care. I didn't care about going to jail or anything. I was more concerned about the pilot, you know, having any uh, ramifications of his with his career and stuff. So that's why we were. That's why we didn't post anything until I got back to Florida and we, we uh, you know, hit all the, the tail numbers and hit their identities and stuff. So, and yeah. I, like I said, I tipped them very, very well. So he, him, him and his family are definitely uh, happy right now. Yeah, I get so, They'll do the yeah. math and they'll figure out which one of the helicopter tour pilots. Yeah, it's sure it's Jorge. Sure. <laughs> it's hard to figure Who's out. Who's got a red helicopter and it's Mexican? It's obviously Jorge. It is not me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 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 he's no. loose with the rules, uh, Jorge. He does, he's not that Look safe. at Jorge's new boots. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, like, he, because I assume, like, Man, you would be in big trouble if you fell out of there. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a nice looking bolo. Oh yeah, no, I'm dead, hundred percent dead. I don't know why. I feel like I had a false sense of security, uh, like hanging out because what, what you haven't actually seen the full version because we obviously were trying to make a deadline. Uh, there's only like a one minute clip out there right now, but there's a whole like you know basically like probably thirty minute video we're putting together that's. Me going there, that. saying "fuck it, let's do this," and then the Behind meeting. We have like, the like, <laughs> we have, like, like one of my camera guys, like drawing out like a, a diagram of the sign and where the helicopter should be and the times and where every camera guy should be and all this stuff. Where the right drone's gonna be at. Shitting on we Hollywood. Kind of, like, the movie. You know, yeah, do a fucking a shit pro- a shitty production. <laughs> you know, it was it was definitely uh, very stressful. But uh, amidst all that, I couldn't stress about all that. All I had to stress about is not dying. And making sure I was able to shit on time, which is, which is tricky. Like I had to back up traffic for for like literally from the time I left Florida. And then what what fucked me up is when I got flaked out when he got cold feet the first day. I had all this shit in me, oh, and then I had to it. I had to eventually let it go. So then I had to hurry up and like Reload. start eating the bun or Taco Bell. I probably spent one hundred fifty dollars on Taco Bell. Oh my god, Damn. <laughs> so, that's, that's a lot. <laughs> Plus, I did not know this, but when you have already diarrhea, uh pool or stools it'll actually when it when the helicopter actually like almost sucks it out of you it literally i could feel it just blowing out of my ass and then kind of like the the, the droplets just hitting the back of my ankle yeah, so, God, it, it, uh, it's literally like I mean, if you had had covid yeah. you would have given it to everyone in the like a 30 mile radius right because the plane now you don't get it from shit no but i think the helicopter is chopping your uh, <laughs> the mucus if you got mucus in there i think you cuz a floaty stool sure. you got a floaty stool the, L- the the los angeles fire department actually were pro- they might have they maybe should they used me to put out some of those fires i could have just been in a helicopter shitting on i would watch that before- like, Mike Busey saves see, California by shitting on the fire. Mike, yeah, there's nothing I, more natural than doing it. So I that just, shouldn't be illegal. I mean, it, every animal shits in the wild. I got one. I, I mean, you know, there's a lot of coyote shit up in those hills. I, mean, I don't exactly. know if you've been over there, but it's not coming from the sky. Yeah. I got one last question, Mike. Do you think, like, how, how much publicity will this get you when it's all said and done? Like, uh, can you put a monetary value to this video? Because that's that's where I Good get question. Like, yeah. I always before. Yeah, my CPA just entered the chat. He 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 definitely advised against this financial decision because it definitely put some money into it. But I don't know if anyone on the planet who can say they flew from a helicopter and shit on the Hollywood sign. So I think I'm the only one to do that as of now. Uh, there may be some uh, copycats later on. They might might top me up. You should start up. a TikTok we'll challenge, <laughs> <laughs> and you should get kids across yeah. the nation doing this, like they do the devious. Yeah, I try to keep kids and people away from, uh, away from the brand. You know, I try to 
try to separate fecal children and, and from the, the Mike Busey brand. That's but yeah, you know, I get what you That's probably good. I yeah. was going to go like that devious licks thing they're doing on uh, yeah. the TikTok what where are you, you steal stuff. Where yeah, I mean, maybe I should have been doing it off some uh, milk crates while I was shitting on it. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> oh, I could yeah, shit on the top of some milk crates and then fall. <laughs> <laughs> maybe people will love that. Well, my, where can people yeah. see the video now? Or Mike? sign up because he's got a big party right around the corner, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got our, our annual, it's our annual Halloween party called Drunk People in Costumes. It's been going on, this will be the 22nd year in a row. Nice. And uh, it's our biggest, craziest, sexiest, wildest Halloween party. And all you got to do is become a member. Uh, ladies are all free, but dudes, you know, or if you, whatever you identify as. If you, if you, if you want to chop your uh, penis off and you show up, then sure, we'll let you in for free. However, uh, if you are a female, you're in free. If you are a guy, you, you become a member. You get to see all the awesome content. Uh, you can and I show my penis off at the person. door. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, yeah, you know. if I come by, <clears throat> if I come by to one of these parties, Mike, will you introduce me yeah, as like a local celebrity? You want to go to my party? Well, your stinks. Uh, oh, but Mike has yeah. like uh, a bunch of yeah. girls and their nudity. Yeah, and he's got a putt putt golf. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's shitting on things. What are you shitting on? He's got a gravitron. He's got a gravitron. What are you shitting on except for our show? My Name shit. one thing. My shower. He's got a pit bike track. My deck. Yeah. So would you uh, like Conway? listen, guys? Y'all come <laughs> out, and I know, I know, I know. For the life of you, y'all won't show up. Whoa. However, if you were to show up, I will. I will make sure you and and your loved ones are safe and secure from any fecal, any violent strippers <laughs> or midgets. I will make sure y'all have the time of your life, and then I'll make sure you stay uh, faithful and monogamous to yourself, and have the goodest, the best time ever. Maybe. Oh, a broadcast live from the party. I would love to it's do a free that. Event, by <laughs> There's the There's nothing I love more than a good live broadcast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah so a... You could do a 72 hour live broadcast yes. on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Yeah, for St. Jude's. Let's do it for, for St. Jude's Mathathon. <laughs> Still for the kids. Yeah, y'all could do like a candy corn fucking uh, <laughs> contest. Who can shove the most candy corn up their ass? I want to do a smallest yeah. penis competition. Mike, can you talk? Oh, I'm in. Are, I'm are you filming a music video right now, or can you talk about it? Yeah, there's actually a, there's actually a. a a very famous reggaeton artist here is shooting a very uh, expensive music video right now, and the house is full of very beautiful uh, Spanish women from Colombia. Hey uh, at least that's what the lesson said when they signed in. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Ooh, are you the hombre that shit on the sign? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mike. So, oh, sorry. I, I use Miguel Colon Jr. as my translator in these moments because he's, the, he's our one uh, Spanish hire. So we we can use him to translate in these uh, situations. I like that. So, That's awesome. Yeah. Well, Mike, we'll get you back in here soon, and uh, good and luck with the video, man. Good luck with the uh, the big uh, you know the big mega party. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, tell everybody yeah. how to sign up real quick. I uh, just go to mikebeauty dot com and you sign in. You get to see all the uncensored crazy content. You get to come to the monthly events. I love cool. it. Uh, Thirty-three dollars a month is it'll it'll it's a it's a you can't afford not to be a member, you know. We'll be uh, if you're be not in the obese oh, fat dudes with small penises shit on Hollywood signs. That's cool. We got a lot of other actual sexy things going on and some fun, cool original content. We make TV shows. We got a show called Blue Collar Blowjobs. We got a called uh, You Won't Cock Blockers. All kinds of original programming. We're like God, we're we're us. our own network with no rules and we do what we want and it's uh. If you like good old fashioned entertainment, you'll love being a member. I like it. Sounds All like right. the, the way Spike TV used to be. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, there's there's Spike before, TV. Before they got nerd. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're like Spike TV with, with balls. Yeah, exactly. I like it. <laughs> well, and hey, be good. You and Miguel, uh, you know, take care of yourselves, man. We love you and be good, all right? Thanks, you guys. I love you guys and uh, God bless America. God bless <laughs> America <laughs> indeed. Yeah, be good, man. Well, now I gotta decide if I go to Busey's Halloween oh, party or Seth's Halloween party. Well, yeah, yeah, I, mean, I know there's a better choice. I heard the entire cast. Is it though? The I don't whole, know. Well, it depends on what Is you the are. entire cast of Blue Collar Blowjob <laughs> the Cockwalker is gonna be at Seth's house? I don't believe so. The yeah, yeah. entire cast. Who do you is got? Be will there. I have a Spencer's gift stripper pole hung up? <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! I know, god. A certain, I know a certain radio host that had that about 25 years ago. Uh, there we go. <laughs> You're just falling. Yeah, you got any celebrities yeah. at all? Yeah, where are your celebrities? Yeah, I actually have two coming. I'm yeah. not going to name them, but they're WWE guys. Oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> who? Who? If it's not, uh, see, uh, I want The Miz. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I want, Is it like a, a and I want Retired no, no, Undertaker no, it's, and Wife. It's a name. It's a name. <laughs>
Yeah, well, how? I mean, are we talking yeah, mid tier? Yeah, who are we like, talking uh, about? If A-list? it's no way, Jose, that guy sucks. <laughs> <laughs> that guy's oh. the worst. Oh, All right. Man. And if it's uh, what's the little luchador guy? <laughs> Ray uh, Mysterio? Mysterio. Too short. Get out of here. Yuck. I, That's his Halloween costume, by the way. <laughs> I'd n- I'd never have the ambition to like no. if, like think of a stupid. Okay, because I mean, watching you, you interview Mike have- is is I love it because like you're understand. sweating right now, like <laughs> because you don't understand it, and you were just kind of shaking your like this. You did like. You're like Terry Schiavo <laughs> what the, the whole time. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's like, you know, like he just uh, he didn't know what he's doing. It's like a ridiculous. Uh, like, That's a I, like, how could anybody like uh, how could this work promoting you? And then it's like Barstool. He doesn't picture. care. That's why I, I got picked up though. Had he cared about care. it, it doesn't get picked up. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the, yeah. the secret is to not care. He just goes, "This is something I want to do. Will it get picked up?" I don't know. How do you not care? I don't <laughs> know. You're like we you're care too much. There's two people. There's two we m- care too much. <laughs> There's a lot of people like depending on you to keep making money to so they can make money. It's like how do you not care about that and just like live your life free and just do whatever you think of and it doesn't matter. Like you know, I'm I mad at no. myself when we spend too much like AC bills. Like goddamn, 180 bucks a small place. You know, like I'm. I'm you could have spent five thousand dollars <laughs> on a Mexican helicopter. Yeah. To these shit out of. Yeah. You know, I, was like, I was like, get your back money anyway. Uh, semantics. Uh, we got any uh, new episodes this weekend? Uh, yeah. Well, it's actually going to be a. You heard about this one? Woo-hoo! We're recording that tomorrow. Um, What's my, on deck? My episode that will be released this Sunday will be about Mothman. You familiar with Mothman? I am from West Virginia. Oh, I've yeah. read a lot about that. We talked about West Virginia a little earlier. Is it like Slender Man, where he just stands in the woods? Uh, yeah, sure. Myth. Yeah, he flies as it's well. Mythy. Yeah. I mean, it's not. Yeah. I mean. There's some conspiracies around that. Yep. And, uh, and that then, movie. Remember that movie? It was terrible. I watched it a it, couple it, days ago. It was terrible, but I can remember, for whatever reason, it did scare me, and I don't know why. I think it's because that's the things that are completely unexplainably weird that people see, those are the things that scare me the most. I found that creepy, that movie, because it, originally it was said it was based on true events, but it's based on like an actual bridge collapsing. And then well, no, it is based on, it is based on uh, true sightings that uh, happened in the 60s. You're right. Yeah, and yeah. then it that led up. They, it led up to the bridge. That is thing. how they kind of fooled you, in, oh, right? Um, because it was based on the book. And then Derek is going to record one about the Exorcist and some conspiracies about that uh, that will be released. In I two love weeks. that movie. I, that's the um, first movie I ever bought on DVD, and then I had to go and rebuy it on Blu-ray. Uh, I bought the one with uh, Friedkin, um, the director, uh, doing the 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 behind the, the scenes, commentary. and mm-hmm. it's got all the, that. That movie is the that. Is one of my favorite movies because I rem- I still remember the feelings I got when I watched. Yeah. You scared the shit out of me. I rented it. We watched thirty minutes for Tracy because she's never seen it. Watched it for thirty minutes. She passed out. You can only rent it. It stays for two days. <laughs> She hasn't come it's back. It's like $3 for the know, rental. But come I was like, on. I, 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 I just her. rented I it. At, I yelled at her. I'm like, I'm going to buy this again for $3. Oh, my <laughs> God. You're an old man. He can't find it, right? He can't, yeah, yeah, yeah. He, it doesn't matter how much you work out. It doesn't matter how many times you go to the doctor. It doesn't matter how young your girlfriend is. The old man is in you, and it will yeah. make you say things like, God damn it, watch it in two days. Uh, uh, wait, it's just annoying. Just, just wait until. until just right buy right your again. sweet girlfriend. Of course I am going to. And don't complain. Wait until Tracy's cleaning your CPAP tube. Oh. And they're sinking oh, because, God, that's yeah. because they need to be cleaned out. Uh, Are they dishwashers? <laughs> <laughs> uh, we got anything on the watering holes, uh, Travis, going on? Yeah, yeah. So we have the uh, Bug Nutty Brewing hey, Company. It's Travis. Hey, Travis. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks for spitting it back at me, TG. Uh, <laughs> don't, so, don't, don't Bug Nutty Brewing Company. Uh, definitely like check them it. out. We have uh, over 28 different uh, beers on draft over there in historic downtown uh, Cocoa Village. So check them out. Also, Tuffy's. Uh, in downtown Sanford, they have their music box, Swine and Sons out there. They also have a huge, it's for social distancing, massive space, and they always have a ton of stuff on draft, including their very own cider. And uh, some, they also have some Central 28 brews out there as well. So uh, definitely check them out. Mm, definitely check them out. Back to you, Dan. <laughs> I like uh, that. Seth. That's, you know what you do better when you lean in. I like it. <laughs> Tell us about your dojo. Uh, well, <laughs> I will secure the weapons by next week. So <laughs> <laughs> if you, have, you want to have your kids drop by to do s- sprints before class, they, uh, they'll be safe. But no, I actually just started a brand new tournament competition class for the kids. Uh, on Fridays now, so now they can. Come it's called four- Squid kids- Game. Now Get they can come four days a week. Tom. I have two Push BDM kids something. that are there, and they just did the tournament cast. This girl is gonna. One of the girls is gonna be a bat, like now, a badass. I, badass. I, I think She's I, gonna be doing really good. I think I heard Tom talking to you, but I think I, <laughs> I see the problem. <laughs> Tom wants to do it with his boys. 
Oh, what you God. need Let to do, do something you, by themselves. You gotta drop them off, man. It's time. You can. It's time. You, you got too scared. You gotta drop them off. Do we? No, it's time. First, it's time. Watch. The other kids were like that too. There were other kids. I saw their parents. They were clinging to. You them, gotta crying, get dropped off. That's important crying, to learn. Crying, 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 and I'm you sitting there like, oh Jesus. They'll be fine. Yeah, just let's like school. It's karate school. It's exactly the same thing. I tell the parents that, like, oh, well, can we watch? Mike, you're more than you're in my world now, Tommy. Yeah, I want that. I want that. But I'm gonna bully the fuck out of you, bro. <laughs> they need that. Uh, but, I do not bully him. I'm but you don't want to drop them off, right? Well, I tell them, like, hey, do you want to do karate? They're like, no. Don't <laughs> ask them. Yeah, just yeah, take yeah, them. You know, I didn't want to fucking play well, baseball. They no, I didn't want to go to karate either when I was six I or can't five wait years old. I on this because I asked Maisie, do you want to do dance? Yes, I do. Do you want to do soccer? <laughs> or No, I, we've asked yeah, her other she, things. Do you want to do pottery? She's motivated. Absolutely not pottery. That's gay. Do you want to do soccer? <laughs> yeah. Like, I don't, like, she has yeah, her yeah, mind made up. I'm trying to find something. It's just in your brain. It ain't something that you're passionate about. There's no passion in this voice. You just gotta have them watch it once and see the other kids like doing, you doing the kicks and breaking the boards. Can we go by and look? And you got the glass uh, front yeah. like every other cheesy yeah, yeah. Joe. Can, <laughs> can he stand out there? And then like you know your assistant. Why don't you she, walk in and Jacob sit will down come and up? watch it inside and watch? Like, you don't have to stand outside the oh, okay. glass. Yeah, hey, dress up like ninjas phone. and bring him over. <laughs> Because <clears throat> he likes that. Dress him like ninjas and bring him over there. Seth loves it when you mock his craft. What uh, day? Wednesdays? Mon Friday. Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, Saturdays. So Mondays and Wednesdays, everything's five. This Monday, Wednesday, five to six. Happy hour after seven o'clock. And then, <laughs> and, and is then Tracy teaching Fri the kids? Right? Yeah, she's with so me. There you, the go. Kids. you get to watch Tracy. Oh, <laughs> hey, boys yeah. get to watch kids. You don't wear a bra when you're kicking and punching. <laughs> if you know she what I mean. Super <laughs> tight belt, so it's an like hourglass yeah, yeah. look. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. <laughs> She bends over, get a peek down that gate. Is she, does she, has she always done martial arts? or did No, you just... she started when, when he yeah. forced her to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. He just took her and she had to She also didn't want to have kids, but now she knows. Yeah, yeah, it's weird yeah. how things change when uh, she got uh, what's up. Yeah, it's called communication. She uh, loves it now, though. No. I mean, apparently she loves it now. She's like, this is a great hobby. I love it, but also. Awesome. <laughs> okay, well, that's... Plus, I'm like, you're fucking part Japanese. Start embracing your culture. You tried hard, tried hard Asian. Oh, 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 you know. oh, get to try yeah. hard when you actually I, are Asian. I, I <laughs> did think that. I did think you were talking to Tom. I was like, dude, you weren't Indian. You're not hate. Asian either. I felt the hate in that. <laughs> All right. Um, thank you to all the BDMs that subscribe. <laughs> oh, I thought you were going <laughs> to... Very good. I felt it. Did anybody else feel a fat up. radio Given host up. very good? I felt a fat radio host was very good. It was queued up. <laughs> I, I juked out of that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you're, uh, hey uh, you, uh, you got McCaffrey back going into the no, weekend. No, I'm talking yeah. about fantasy football. Yeah, yeah. We got that going on, right? Um, hey, guys, uh, I would like to uh, tell you, hey, for all of you guys that have been signing up on Twitch and tipping us and signing up on the YouTube and tipping us and stuff like that, we really do appreciate it. We just hit, I think we hit uh, right at 6,000 um, subscribers, which is really good for us because that means in the last year we've gained 1,000 subscribers because when we started this, we were 6, 6K. We were starting at right at 5K, and 6K was the goal, and we made it. So, hey, get more and more people to subscribe. It really helps us out to be a little bit more visible, and we certainly do appreciate you guys subscribing to our YouTube channel. All right, everybody, have a good weekend. We'll see you next week. Well, wait a minute, I I can't publish that. It's um, mediocre. <laughs> <laughs>